How you doing, chat? Uh, how are you tonight? Going a little, uh, going live a little earlier right now because uh, I feel like it. Um, oh, wrong way. There we go. Just get a little, get a little perspective going. How you doing, everybody? Thought I'd do a quick little unboxing. This is this was a gift from uh, this this guy who. Uh, we talked a little bit about Twitch, and we talked a little bit about what he was doing with it. And let me tell you something. If you're not watching or following Phil Rossi Media, you should be watching Phil Rossi Media. Media. He's he, he's staying true to his brand. He calls his brand uh, Phil Phil Rossi's stream, uh, sc Scream Stream. And he does that because he is uh, a, a horror author, an exceptionally good one, too. Uh, I recommend his books. But uh, Phil gave me this for my birthday. Uh, once again, we are we are still celebrating. We are still celebrating the fiftieth um, fiftieth uh, birthday of yours truly. And yes, I got the lambda the lambda ghost, which is going to join my last city ghost. So now I got a pair of ghosts. Um, which means now even more so, I got to put a shelf behind my head so that uh, these ghosts have a place. Because right now, on top of the Origin PC, is not what I would call the best of places for for my ghosts. But uh, I thought I'd do a little unboxing to see what's uh, what's up. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> turns out I get a little. Uh, I, I didn't realize this. I get a little uh, uh, in-game redemption, uh, in-game code redemption. Probably for um, either, either a, probably probably a swish emblem, which isn't bad. I, I dig the emblems. Ah, hey, PlayStation boy, how you doing, PS PSB? That's what I'm gonna call you on the stream if you don't mind, PSB. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. How are you? Let's go. Let's go. All right. Um. So tonight is Titan Tuesday, and if you have never um. Thunder Lord quest is legit stupid. Now is that good? Stu See with you young with you young folks, is that young? Is that stupid good or is it stupid bad? <laughs> okay, I think I just answered it. I hate it. Three weeks. <laughs> Honestly, when it comes to quests, I am woefully behind. Um, I still haven't gotten my Ace of Spades, and um, and my thoughts are I'm going to uh, get my Ace of Spades. I'm gonna get I'm gonna I'm gonna get my ace of spades uh, and then I'm gonna move on to the next one that I want to get. Uh, the next one I want to get probably after ace of spades. Uh, maybe the chaperone. Maybe maybe the chaperone. I don't know. Um, I just gotta I just gotta figure it out. I gotta figure it out and know what to do. So you know. But the other thing I want to do is I want to finish. Uh, I, I want to finish getting Steve through. Um, uh, Destiny 2, and I also want to uh, get a little more comfortable with the dreaming with the dreaming city. Um, that is something I do not, I have not played around with. Oh, infamy rank. Well, there you go. Uh, all right. Bonus infamy points. All right. Well, then I think that's what. Oh, refer a friend as long as they're thrusting human. We're always, world will always need heroes. Bring a new guardian to the world of Destiny 2 Forsaken and earn exclusive rewards. You can earn for any player who does not yet own Destiny 2 Forsaken, even though, the, even though they already own the core Destiny 2 game. That's cool. that's kind of cool. Very nice. Well, instead, I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to uh, swing on by, swing on by and pick up some stuff here. Nightly Salvation. Are you going to get the Lunas Howl or going to run comp today? Hmm. So I've been hearing mixed things about Luna's Howl, and I know it's a very involved quest. Here's the thing about, oh, first off, uh, Nightly Salvation, thank you very much for joining me on tonight's stream. Do appreciate it. Uh, cheers. How you doing? Welcome to Gaming with the Team Monster. I am the Team Monster. How are you? We are sponsored by Hangry Gamer Gear, hence the fine shirt that I'm wearing. Uh, if you <clears throat> pay our sponsor a visit and find some stuff that you like, because he does more than just Destiny stuff. He also does Fortnite stuff. He does... Uh, Overwatch stuff. He does a little bit of everything. But if you um, find some stuff that you like, fill up your fill up your uh, cart, and you use the code Happy Hour. Use the code Happy Hour at checkout. You'll get fifteen percent off your order. 
Uh, he also does Rick and Morty stuff as well. He's he's real and but I tell you, I love I love this. I've got several of the shirts, and I love the shirts. They're nice and comfy. They don't feel cheap. Um, I just dig them. I really really dig them. So anyway, uh, about back to Luna Sal. Um, well, first off, if you're new to this stream, Nightly Salvation, um, the thing you'll learn about this stream is that I have a very limited window of time to game because I'm doing stuff like this. I write books. I, I'm, a, I'm a science fiction fantasy writer with my wife, and when on my own, I write a variety of different stuff. As a matter of fact, uh, before I get to that, that book right there, um, I finished it. Today, I finished Twitch for Dummies, so I am free and clear. I, I, I feel absolutely phenomenal. I really do. I absolutely feel astounding, to be honest with you. Uh, anyway, um, so I finished Twitch for Dummies. The next time I see it, the proof is going to be arriving in PF, uh, PDF format. I check it to make sure that the I's are dotted, T's are crossed, the figures are where they're supposed to be, and then I sign off on it, and then in January, it hits the, it hits the, uh, hits the shelves. So I'm pretty stoked. So what about Luna's Howl? Okay, so the thing about Luna's Howl is that is one of the many quests that, uh, that that Bungie has been has been giving everybody. And God knows, I love it. I freaking love the fact. I freaking love the fact that I have so much stuff to do in Destiny now. The thing is, because of my time, I have to be very specific on what I'm going to get. Uh, case in point, I still haven't... I still haven't picked up my uh, uh, my Ace of Spades, and I, I I want this gun. I really want this gun. Um, I've heard I've heard like I said I've heard mixed things about Luna Sal. I've heard everything from it's it's worth the grind to it's not worth the grind to um, it's a great grind, but the but the gun itself is kind of meh. So what I really would what I would prefer I would prefer uh, picking up a Malfeasance or uh, a will of, the Will of a Thousands. Yeah, the Will of a Thousands. Um, I just, I, I do, I just have to be, oh my god, this is, oh, I dropped into an instance where there's nobody else here. Oh, nope, one person. Okay, so there's one person. Whew. I hate being alone. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I have, oh, so you're, oh, so, so you're familiar with the stream. Okay, Salvation, well, I appreciate that. Yeah, I have been working very hard in the book. Here's the thing I discovered in writing a dummies book by myself. When you write a dummies book with a friend, which my previous two for dummies books were written with other people or um that's um that's fun and it's quick and i can easily multitask when you do one by yourself that is a whole new world of hurt i was don't waste this. i was i was pleasantly i was pleasantly and i do want to say that i was pleasantly surprised and uh, pleasantly um, pleasantly um, surprised and satisfied that at the end of the book um, I did it but I tell you something I've been busting my chops I've been busting my hump um, it's what it's actually one of the ways I screwed up my foot uh, because I was carrying for at one point I was carrying both my work laptop and my uh, my regular laptop or sorry my regular my home laptop and my home laptop is almost five years old, so you can imagine how much weight that added to a uh, to a bag that already had a lot of stuff in it. Um, and I screwed up my left foot. Uh, at one time it was both feet, but then I screwed up. I, 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 my left foot really took a, took a brunt of damage. So now I'm I'm slowly working to get it back up on and uh, and, and healthy. Everybody's got there. their head in the clouds. Dreaming city, high warm god. Or mind. Oh! Forget about the lives of regular people. Oh! Even for, well, for heroes like you. Remember the Cryptarch in the Reef? I do. His name was Ives. Wow. Yeah, that's right. Really? He was. He's dead. Really? And not like all the other Awoken who died in the Reef. I'm doing both of this. <laughs> Petra says he was murdered. She sent me all his stuff. She's got her own problems out on the shore, so this is up to us. Cade taught me a lot of nonsense, but he also taught me that you gotta follow a trail before it goes cold. Keep an eye out for the pages that go in that thing. They're the only clues we're gonna get. Eye out for clues. So you're saying you're you're saying salvation that the uh, howl's worth it? Because if it's worth it, I'll go for it. But 
I have a lot of other stuff I need to get, like that right there. I want to concentrate on getting that. I'm trying to remember, how long do these last? They expired day after purchase. It's 8 o'clock now. I think I'm going to be smart, and I'm going to pick up these bounties uh, later tonight. Actually, no, I'm, I'm going to see if I can't do a couple. Just a couple. Hope it keeps you safe. And then I got the weekly bounty, which I have to try to finish. Oh wow! And if I complete the if I complete that bounty, now these are dailies. All I got to do is is finish five of the five more of these, and I'm good. All right. So you're so so if I'm hearing you right, you're saying it's worth it. Because if you say it's worth it, salvation, I, I you know, I, I, I could be convinced to go. For, I could be convinced to go for it. I could be convinced to go for it. Hmm. Oh yeah, I was I was doing the whole comparison, and I realized, wait a minute, I'm at five forty eight. What am I doing here? <laughs> uh, let's see, what did I, what did I get here? This is all stuff from the last time I went. Ooh, and I picked up a. The best is the fifty five hundred. Is the fifty five hundred or five? Did you mean to say fifty five? Did you mean to say five fifty or fifty five hundred hand cannon? It's definitely worth it. It's the second best hand cannon. Okay, so here's my question: What's the what is the best hand cannon? Now you're saying that it's, it's the fastest hand cannon um, in the game. Probably the best hand cannon in the game. Being able to outplay trust ace and most one fifty to one eighty hand cannons. That's saying a lot because I have the trust and I absolutely adore the trust. Um, I mean, they're going to have to pry the trust out of my cold, dead hands. Oh, wait a minute. A Vesper of Radius. Hello. Hello, gorgeous. Let me throw this on. Um, let me throw these bad bears on. Boom. First 550, too. Oh, yeah, but I really hate that armor. I hate the look of that armor. Maybe I can infuse it with something. Let's see if there's a piece of armor that I want to keep. The, the, the vigil, the, sorry, the vigil of heroes. What does the prodigal armor look like again? Hmm. Actually, that's that's pretty swish. I kind of dig that. Prodigal robes and the Thorum Holt robes. What do Thorum Holt robes look like? Oh, that's right. Kind of leathery. Let me see these one more time here. Hold on. Oh, the ancient apocalypse robes, though. Those are the that's the gambit. That's the gambit wear. Yeah, I love that beaten up look, especially for a warlock. <laughs> Did it again. I tell you, taking a week off from this game, I feel like it really hurt me. It just really hurt me. See the prodigal robes again. Auto rifle reserves, unflinching grenade. <laughs> I'm really going to miss. I am really, really going to miss dusklight shards. I'm not going to miss dusklight shards, but I, I, I'm really going to miss the uh, the whole this whole this whole uh, thing. I, I have really genuinely enjoyed. Oh, arsenic bite. Hmm. Rampage and radar tuner versus. Explain old rampage. Hmm. Can I throw it? Can I throw a uh, 532 on there? I can. Well, then I shall. And I have the 550. Oh, it's the comp score. Oh, okay. Same as Luna, just in more range. Oh, I've gotten. Uh, the not forgotten is the actual best, but most players aren't going for it because it's too hard with the constant teams of four in the 3,000 plus range for comp. You see, here's my thing. Here's my thing, Salvation. I'm I'm not a comp guy. I'm really, really not a comp comp guy. I mean, I'll. Oh, it's a three tap. And oh, you're driving a hard bargain there, man. You're driving a hard bargain. But to be fair, I mean, you want to take a look at some of the things that I got going on here. I've got uh, well, there there are the bounties. I just picked up all my other bounties there. There's the awoken talisman that I need for some. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there's the journal of the wreath of Cryptarch. Um, so that's for, that's for the Master Eyes, which I'm looking forward to. I gotta do the Crucible Tournament, um, 
for uh, for the chaperone. There's the Ace of Spades, which I would I would very much like to like to do. I still haven't finished Nation Dawn, and I'd like to go in and finish Nation Dawn, and I haven't even bothered with the arms deal. I might actually abandon that one because I'm. Uh, it's it, it a lot. Some of this you're right. Some of the stuff is carryover. Some of the stuff is carryover. Complete crucible matches in the competitive playlist. Well, I can also do that as well. I just you know, it's my thing. Like I said, I'm just not really big on uh, on on competitive. They say I'm holding off. I'm gonna wait to do that carved pumpkin when I get one of the one of the um, one of the festival of the lost, uh, which I haven't gotten yet. I wouldn't mind getting the wish ender. That's another one I wouldn't mind getting. So anyway, um, I, I know I'm hopping around a lot. Uh, this is very characteristic for my stream, as you can imagine. But going back to finishing Twitch for Dummies, yeah, that was um, that was a lot of hard work. But you know what? I was extreme. I'm extremely pleased with the book. I won't lie to you. I'm extremely pleased with the book. The only thing that I don't think I covered was how to set up a multi, and I'm okay with that because I want people to focus on this stuff first before they start getting into things like doing multis and stuff like that. Although we have a multi set up for, for tonight's uh, shenanigans. Once I am joined by the effervescent uh, Steve the Blind Gamer Sailor. Waiting waiting for him Always right now. Always good to see you, Guardian. Um, so we got nothing happening there. Um, Come see me again. I think I've sorted everything out for my warlocks. So I think what I will do is I will go on ahead and... Uh, Hey, Unicorn, good evening. How are you, man? Good to see you. Now, um, throw these back on. Because uh, my, 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 they don't go up much. Oh, unflinching. Ooh. Rifts release an arc shockwave when cast. Rift energy release. Yeah, I'm not going to be infusing that. I'm going to be wearing that. That's pretty swish. That's, that's, that's some, that's some pretty, that's some nice little perks there. So, all right, let me just do this while I wait. While I'm waiting for uh, for for Steve, uh, I'm going to go on ahead and uh, give this a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of playing. Ooh, uh, super regeneration, increased resilience, class ability, regeneration speed. You know what? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and plop that on. And now let's see what I got here. 440. Let's see what 440 steel looks like. Um. Whoa, that's pretty, that's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Vanguard Metallic also looks really good. Gambit Leather looks really good. Okay, I gotta admit, this is pretty surprising. Ooh. Ooh. We almost have a winner with Kate's Duds. How about if we go purple? Nope. Purple's kind of a bummer. Hmm. Is it just me, or does that look like something out of Space 1999? I'm just saying. You know what? I think... Let me, let me, I'm, I'm kind of torn. What do you think? Okay, chat. Um, quick vote. What do you think? Um, should I go with Vanguard Metallic? Or should I do 440 steel? What do you think? Type one for uh, for Vanguard Metallic, two for uh, for 440 steel. One for Vanguard Metallic, two for 440. If you want, you can hop onto my account and play with it. I appreciate that. I appreciate that salvation. I think I'm going to hold off on that offer. Um, I. Uh, you know, I, I I I just need to get the Ace of Spades first. That's the first thing, and then I want to get the um I want to get the horror story. So I've got a you know I've got a um I've got a I've got a you know I got I I, I have to prioritize it. Ah, oh, there he is, Blind Gamer Steve. He says I should go again with uh he says I should go with uh with four forty. Anyone else? Nice prime engram though, by the way there. So 440 steel. I got 440 steel. How about Vanguard Metallic? Anybody want the Vanguard Metallic? Anybody? One for Vanguard Metallic. 
two for 440 steel. And right now, right now, I've only got one vote, and it's from and it's from Steve. <laughs> well, you're guessing because you're blind. I get it. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm going to go with 440 steel just because I think it'd be fun being dressed by the blind guy. So let's go for it. <laughs> see what this looks like fully actually that's a good choice there steve it's a good choice it's a good choice man good choice all right on you know what unicorn i know you can help me with horror story uh and i would love for you to help me with it we're just gonna have to do it another night because i am switching characters getting over to my uh titan and then i'm picking up where steve left off and we are going to do and we're gonna we're going to uh, get things started. Steve, uh, are you ready to go? Are you all set? Uh, should I send out a uh, an, uh, a party invite? I will do that right now, sir, just to make sure we are all good and ready. Woo. Uh, let's see. I'm still going to make sure. Uh, yes. Private. Okay. Got to make it private, chat, mainly because uh, oh, Destiny's installing it up. It's a quick update, so you don't have to worry too much about that, Steve. But as long as you're logged on, that's the important bit. Let's see. So. There he is. Blind Gamer Steve. Um, I'm my old, old Twitch account. Oh, it's, it's El Foya. <laughs> Were you just going to lead me along down the primrose path of Foya until you finally said, oh yeah, <laughs> hey, it's me. <laughs> just let me, just let, just let know, did you get the tweet I sent you? Um, I'll have to see. Um, hey, there's the man, the man, the myth, the legend. How are you, Steve? Thank you, thank you. Oh, and uh, Chizzy, Chizzy African ninety two. Uh, I'll just call you Chiz, man. Chiz, thank you very much for the follow. Do appreciate it. Um, I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's a story behind that name, my friend. I'm sure there's a story behind that name. Um, yeah, um, yeah. I, 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 and and I'm actually doing a uh, um, a month long. Oh, the video of the big rescue, big cat rescue unicorn. Yes, I did get that. Thank you very much. Uh, no, uh, but going back to what you were saying earlier, Steve, Pip said that uh, I have permission to celebrate my birthday until November twenty eighth. So I'm, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have a good month. I was gonna make it a good month, and part of it's gonna be in Germany. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. That's gonna be uh, tons of fun. Um, counting down to when we leave for that, which is actually next week. So we're doing it this week, and then next week we, uh, we're we on a plane. We're, we're leaving on a jet plane. Um, oh, uh, the, oh, this is, wait, this is uh, this is a friend of you. Uh, Chizzy is actually uh, Chisomo, and he's a friend of yours. Saw his post. Ha Chisomo. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Of course you do. Of course you do. Okay, so well, so well then, Chiz, you'll enjoy this. How about how, how, let, let me let me take you back. Let me take you back a bit. The year was nineteen ninety. The year was nineteen ninety two, and burning burning the midnight oil and then some on Q one hundred and one. Q one hundred and one, the best music mix. Bullet Alexander coming at you with all the hits that are worthy of the hits that we're gonna play here because they're hits. And now we're gonna play off some Michael Bolton because you know something everybody love is a wonderful thing, especially at two in the morning here on the Q. God, six months of my life I'll never get back. <laughs> Bullet Alexander was my. I was trying out. I wanted to see. Maybe I should do a, a radio, a radio name. And uh, my my father was talking about going to one of his, uh, one of his, what was it? It was his um, one of his um, umpiring gigs. And um, <laughs> thank you, Chizzy. 
Thank you, Chizzy. And and I and 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 he was talking about one of his buddies, and he mentioned that, and he, and he said, yeah. And then Bullet left me sleeping out on the uh, outside of the room, and I said, Bullet. He goes, yeah, that's the guy's name, Bullet Alexander. And I said, oh, I gotta try that. And it just rolled off the tongue, and it became my radio persona, radio name. Um, never again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So while we're waiting, so while we are waiting, but now we'll say this though. I mean, the whole broadcasting thing that hasn't changed. I mean, look at what you and I are doing right now, Steve. And of course, we've got the podcasting behind us. And I don't know if you heard it before you got on here. Um, today, I made it official. I made a judgment call on something, and the book's done. Twitch for the next the next time I see Twitch for Dummies, it will be arriving on uh it will be well it will be arriving as a PDF. Um and I I don't Well I get it as a PDF well wait hang on now let's let's backtrack a bit. I get it as a PDF so that I can proof it. And then I take it and then I go on ahead and I put it in, and I'm trying to remember if I swapped out I want to say I, I'll, I'll be double checking. I'll be double checking during uh, during the proofing, but I'm pretty sure when I was talking about scheduling uh, special events and things like that, I think I did use the gra as an example. I used the graphic that you created for blind leading the blind, because that is such a badass graphic. But I will double check that to make sure. Anyway, um, do I really want them back? <laughs> very very true, unicorn. Do I really want those those six months back? Do I really want those six months back? But no. Um. But the next time I see it, it's 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 a PDF so that I can prove it. And then January, it hits the, it hits the shelf. So I'm thrilled. I've I've completed my first solo, uh, dummies book. And let me tell you something. It's way easier when you've got a buddy doing it with you. Whew. First first I did it with Evo, and then Evo touched base with us. But it was then me and Chuck. And then the second volume, it was just me and Chuck. And and then um, and then when we did expert podcasting practices for dummies, um, it was me, Evo, and a third dude, Ryan. Ryan, I'm blanking on Ryan's last name, but that book also came out. So there was a lot of. I, I've always done dummies as collaborations. This is my first solo one, and it has been um, quite the education. So anybody that you ever. So, so what happened was, um, so what happened was, was that, that I, I went on ahead and I, I put together, um, I, I was putting together with Chuck at the time, podcasting for dummies. And as I'm going through it, I'm cutting my eye teeth on Twitch. I mean, I've been Twitch, I've been twitching, I, I've been streaming. Twitching makes it sound like it's a, it's a medical condition, but, uh, I had been, I had been streaming on Twitch for roughly, uh, two months at that time. Uh, too much steadily. Other times it was like, yeah, I feel like streaming tonight, so I'd throw, I'd throw it out there, see what happens, you know? Um, and I wasn't really, I really wasn't even remotely serious about it. I was just, I was just solely using the broadcast gameplay feature. And then I started getting into the nuts and bolts of it, and I started getting into it. And by the time I was working on the third edition of Podcasting for Dummies with Chuck, I was, um, I was really getting getting into Twitch, and I thought, you know, the, the the they're they're kissing cousins of each other. This is actually like a like a like a like a natural progression. If you get into podcasting, you're on, you're you know you're destined for Twitch, and then it's the other way around. There are Twitch streamers that basically take their shows and turn them into podcasts. Some of them will make their podcasts like they'll have an RSS feed and all that. Others are doing what I call Podcast Nouveau, where they just throw it on YouTube and say, look, I've made a podcast. And I'm like, that's not a podcast. That's not a podcast. Triggered, you know, but but I I have to bottle that up. I have to bottle it in. Anyway, so so I, I and then I was watching this other streamer, the guy who became my, my technical editor. His, he goes by Aura. I'll do a quick shout out for him on, on stream. So, um... I was watching Aura and I said, yeah, it's great because you can go out and you can talk to other streamers. It's not like we have a book that tells us how to do it. You know, we don't have a Twitch for dummies. Maybe we need one. And I'm watching the stream and I thought, I got a connection. I got it in. 
and I'm about to sign off on a podcasting book. I'm fresh in their minds. I should go for it. So I pitch it to Steve Hayes. I said, he's, he's, my, he's the, the head editor over at, uh, over at Wiley, Wiley and Sons. And I said, I said, and I, I, and I also did research. And the last time I checked, there are, if you go into Amazon and you, see, you ask, you know, books on Twitch, two come up. Two that are specific to Twitch. There are others that talk about streaming, but it's how to make money at streaming, how to stream video games for money, and how to make money on Twitch. They're all self-pubbed. There is no major publisher that is that has even touched working with a, a working on a Twitch book. And I pitched it to Steve and said we could be the first. We could be you know we could be the Neil Armstrongs of public of, of mainstream publishers embracing Twitch. They hemmed and they hawed on it. And the wor the, the worst idea, which I dug my he my heels in and said no, I'm not doing that. They wanted it to be part of the for dummy series for kids. And I'm like no. No, 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 because because they're like, well, that's where a lot of gamers are. I'm like, well, yeah, but in the terms of service, you're not allowed to get on Twitch until you're until you're 13, and I really don't feel comfortable with this. So, so um, that was around like January, February, and then everything just kind of died down, and then I started my new job. So now, fast forward to I want to say it was I was I was at this job for a whopping three weeks. My phone rings. By the way, you can join up on me at any time. By the way, Steve, J just so you know, you, you sh is it still updating? Oh, oh, okay. Wow. Oh, wait. Is oh, that's right. Last week, right? But last week was the big was the big download for the uh, for the the, the 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 festival of the lost. You had your your previous engagement. I went on ahead last week. Or sorry, two weeks ago. And and did the um and, and and just kicked off my festival of lost stuff. So yeah, you got some fun times ahead. All right. So anyway, just placed your order for what did you place your order for, man? Um. Okay. Oh, you ordered. Oh, you ordered Twitch for Dummies. Well, thank you, Unicorn. Hey, first pre-sale. All right. So anyway, um. <clears throat> so I'm three weeks. Three weeks. I want to say that three weeks into the brand new job, my phone rings. I look down and it says. Steve Hayes. And I was like, huh. Pick up the phone. Steve goes, so T, Twitch for dummies. You still interested? And I went, and, I mean, I hadn't heard from them in a, over a month on this. And I said, what was the change of heart? They were like, well, we got a brand new guy in charge. And he wants he wants to return Wiley to the days of when we were, you know, cranking out innovative, you know, uh, you know titles. And he said, so I need titles. I need proposals. What do you got for me? And they said, well, in a couple weeks, and he says, no, right now. And Steve stepped forward and said, how does Twitch for Dummies grab you? And he was like, great, let's move on it. And um, that's when he got on the phone with me. And uh, we negotiated. Got a pretty good got a pretty good deal. It's good enough that I bought this PC setup that, that's, that I'm now in front of. And I managed to actually come in under budget until I had the until I got the uh, the, the the Astro preamp, but I'm with just within spitting distance of my budget, I should say. Um, I tell you what, Unicorn. Um, yes, if you want to send it to me, go on, when it comes in. If you want to send it to me, I will sign it for you. You bet. You bet I will. Uh, in the future, though, Unicorn, um, we're going to be selling the book through my. Uh, and if you want to, you can also do this, Unicorn. I don't mind you doing it. I mean, it, it looks great for my stats if I have pre-orders. But um, if you want to cancel your pre-order and wait until I have copies in stock that I can sell through my website, I can just sign it and send it off to you so you don't have to worry about paying to send it off to me, paying to send it back. Now, if you're okay with it, I'm good. Either way, you want to handle it. Either way, but yes, I will sign the book for you. Absolutely. Um, all right, so so we, we talked about it, and then we, we signed the contract. And I really started writing this book, I want to say, in like June. And it was tough because, um, uh, it was tough because I was, I was, um, still, you know, cutting my eye teeth on the new job. And then I gave them a, uh, uh, I gave them a, a table of contents that I realized was really redundant. So I was on the fly fixing the table of contents while I was writing the book. And that, that made for a real bumpy ride at some points. Um, but, uh, but there, and then, and then, and then in the middle of all this, I got sick for two weeks. So I was out, I was out cold for like two weeks 
and I had to ask uh, for an extension. And and Wiley was more than gracious with it. They said, "Yeah, sure, go ahead." So um, so so I got an extra week. I'm still I'm still on schedule. Everything's copacetic. And uh, and and when uh, and yeah, so basically I finished the first draft uh, four months later. So that's a 300 uh, 320 page book I wrote in four months. Then I have a. Well, no, no, that's just it. I don't write fast. Um, but this book made me write fast. <laughs> um, yeah, um, yeah, the Billy, the Billy Battings book, I want to say, was... But the thing is, the idea was already solidified. And, and I think, and I think... I mean, yeah. Um, but I want to say, I, I want to say the longest it's ever taken me to, to write a book... Uh, like a like a fiction like a fiction book, fiction novel um, was probably Legacy of Moravi, and and that one just took a um, you got it you got it unicorn, um, and that took me long because one I didn't expect to write it two um, instead of having Lisa at my side I had to fill in a lot of blanks, and three I didn't know where I wanted to take the series and. Of course, that's sort of the that will always be the, the the series that got away because I ended it on a cliffhanger and I have no desire whatsoever to go back to the series, none, none whatsoever. Um, the original book was hefty. The original book was that, and that, that's my second. That's the thing about Moravi. Moravi was what I would call the Apollo thirteen of books for me, because it was a successful book. It was a successful book, but Dragon Moon Press did not make a penny off that book because it was so freaking huge. Secondly, um, maybe George R. R. Martin could get away with books that are a quarter of a million words, but a first-time author should never do that. I should have said, you know what, instead of this being one book, we should break it up into three. And then, now that it's done, we just release all three volumes within a year. But I was stubborn. I was stubborn and I didn't trust myself as a writer and um, and I look back on that book and I really really wish that we could have uh, we could have done that differently um, because then we would have been able to sell Moravia as one book but charge extra for it because it was actually three books for one um, that being said that being said it was a it was a huge education um, I learned a lot from it I learned what I will never do again and um, and it got me. It, it got me here. I mean, it got me to this point. So so you know, I, I can't I can't really complain too hard. You know what I'm saying? All right. So uh, before we get jumping into this, I uh, I think it's only fair uh, to to go on ahead and make introductions so that people know uh, who they who they're about to uh, um, uh, sling their hook with. So. Um, first off, I am I'm promoting you to leader so that you can get us through everything. Um, so first off, hi everybody, I'm T Morris. Um, you can call me T, you can call me the T Monster. I am the host of the stream, uh, but I'm actually co-hosting on a multi. And uh, if you don't know what a multi is, all you got to do is uh, take a look at the um, at the link that I just dropped into chat. That will basically turn your uh, turn your browser into a split screen. Now, what I'm going to recommend you do is that you uh, uh, turn on one audio on one stream, turn off the audio in the other. You should still be able to get 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 all the audio in real time as it's happening. But um, but what I'm doing is right now I'm I'm I normally play Destiny 2 Forsaken, but tonight I'm actually going back to the Red War for my buddy Steve. Now, this is where I turn the mic over. Steve, introduce yourself. Ding. <laughs> I'm trying to find my bell.
Uh, this is episode three. This is episode three. Episode three. And um, I am not blind, but I am also... I like to tell people, I'm not a gamer that writes. I'm a writer that games. And when you see me shoot, you'll understand what I mean by that. Um, and... And so, um, and so that's why we call this the blind leading the blind. Um, so Steve and I are, uh, we are currently, so, so just to bring everybody up to speed, we are currently working our way through Destiny 2, the Red War, the, the original Destiny 2 vanilla story. Um, we just left off in that we had rescued Cade, and Cade mentions that if we want to find, if we want to find, um, uh, find um, uh, Ikora, uh, my, uh, my, well, my main's Vanguard. I main a Warlock, but uh, Steve is playing a Warlock, so I, I'm giving him a uh, tank back up as a Titan. And we are headed to Io to unlock the secrets there. Oh, now hang, now hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Then if they do that, then let's do this instead. Um, go on ahead and move over to Nessus. Let's go to Nessus for a second. Nessus is in the, it's in the top, that's Titan. Nessus is the green-red planet uh, in the top, there you go. And I think what we can do, yeah, okay, so. All right, so, so far I've been telling you about all these different things we've been doing, you know, public events, etc., etc. But do you see those shields right there, those little uh, orange shields? Those are called adventures. And there are some quests and there are some things that you, uh, that you'll, you'll go on that will actually, uh, you know, give you a few things to help level up and things like that. Those are called adventures. So why don't we hit a couple of adventures, and we'll see, uh, we'll see how we do with this, okay? Just to see if that, if that'll help. So go ahead and pick one of the adventures. Doesn't matter which one, and we will, uh, we'll go on ahead and we'll jump into it. So as, as you're doing this, I'll explain as you, as you pick on, uh, pick which adventure we're going to do. Uh, let me explain what, what, uh, how Destiny changed things up a little bit. So in the game of Destiny, you have a lot of different things you can do, a lot of different activities. Um, you have now the big ones are of course the story missions, and of course you've got the uh, you got the raids, which it'll be a while before we're ready for anything like that. Um, and then you've got um, uh, strikes, so raids, strikes, and uh, and and, uh, and and of course story missions. Now when it comes to uh, to strikes. When you reach a certain level, um, you're going to unlock them, and then we're, we can go on ahead and we can we can just dive in and do one of those. Especially if Brandon's with us, because strikes are <clears throat> are three person missions. Raids are an entirely different level, and they are uh, six man missions. Um, then you've got adventures and quests. These you can do on your own, and quests come in different flavors, and adventures come in different flavors, and in some cases, the grind. Uh, on certain quests involve doing certain adventures. So, um, so anyway, um, so and and the and and quests and adventures were introduced in uh, in Destiny Two, and some people liked them, some people didn't. I personally liked them. What I would do, and this was sometimes I would do it with a group of friends, sometimes I would just do it on my own. Um, I would go on ahead and I would I would do uh, an adventure. Uh, I would I would do all the adventures on the planet at least once. That way I was I was super OP for the next planet. But we're just going to go ahead and get you up to level eleven. We'll see where we go from there. So, is there anyone in particular that sounds good to you? Uh, yeah. Then let's go on ahead and let's do that one. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. And remember, I'm here and I'm I'm like you know sickly overpowered in the four hundred. So. Trust me, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Um, I just have to remember what what am I running? Um, let's see. So I've got the oh no no I've got the Titan, but I just wanted to oh, I wanted to know what my arsenal was. I've got the Allegro hand cannon. I think we're gonna switch over to my shoddy. That's gonna knock me down a few points, but no big deal. I got a bad omens. Um, oh, I should definitely. Turn over. I'm going back to Nessus. So there we go. Nessus scanner for that. Um, and I'm running. I'm running the. Uh, oh, am I? And I am I? Uh, code of the missile. That's what I'm running. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. My human missile thing. 
592. Kick back and enjoy, my friend. Kick back and enjoy, Unicorn. And thank you very much for uh, for, for the thought of pre-ordering. I do appreciate that. But um, but no, when, when I'm selling it, um, that's why I tell people, like, you know, if you want to buy it through me, um, that's fine. Uh, any of my books. Uh, it's easy. If you want autographed copies and I'm not going to come out to where you are, it's better to just buy them through my site. All right. So here we go. Uh, this is... Okay, so we're doing Exodus Black. All right. Okay. That's one in the ass. That's two in the ass. There we go. Okay. Off and running. Off and running. Don't worry. You're fine. You're good. Let me just find you. Let me just find you. Or have you, oh, you already rezzed. Okay. All right. So, um, we are... Okay, so... Uh... Oh, no. It wasn't me. But I think there was a high dot... Oh, nicely done. But I, I want to say there was a high-value target back here. I thought I saw him. Okay, just real quick. Um, I, I, I won't get that just yet. I'm going to wait until you get over here. Um, oh, there is a high-value target. Come to where I'm at. Let me see if we can get this high-value target first, and then we'll, then we'll actually get into the, uh, the mission. Because it always helps when... Now, take a look up at the radar, and you should see in the radar... All right. Oh, son of a bitch. Do I have any rockets? Oh, I do have rockets. That was me. Yeah, that... That's that's the high-value target. That's the guy... Yeah, now, keep in mind, he is gonna... You're probably gonna... You're, you're probably not gonna do a lot of damage against him. But... Just keep, just, just, just keep at him. I have a lot of shotgun shells left. Okay, where are you, man? Where are you? Oh, I'm too far away. What am I doing? Hang on. Yeah. Come on. Ah, some. Hang on, hang on. All right. Yeah, this this pl this planet can be a bit of a bit of a pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, damn it! I overshot. Ah. Shit. Ah. All right. See if I can just get it just from running. No, I can't get it from running. I think he's gone. Is he gone? Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, they like to do that. All right. I was hoping we could get that high value target. I think he I think he is vomitosed. Whoa! This would have been a good place for a grenade. Alright, okay. Um forget about it. Let's uh let's actually let's go on ahead and let's um Why is it taking me so freaking long? To get, I'm sprinting right now, chat. I just want you to know that I'm sprinting right now, and I can't seem to get. The only way I can get, the only way I can get, I can get that. There we go. I guess I'm gonna have to be airborne for this. All right. So, um, Steve, uh, before you, hang on, before you, um, have you found the uh, the the things you need to do to activate the adventure? I saw, I saw you. Okay, 
You, you, oh, uh, hang on a minute. So, so, uh, so before you go on that, uh, come, come, come over to where I'm at. I'm near, I'm near the exit of this black right now. Let me get rid of these guys first, and then, uh, or get rid of these guys with me. There we go. All right. So I want you to notice there's something. Let me find it because I saw it over here. Hang on. It was there. It is right here. Okay, so where I'm standing. Yeah, you know, you know, yeah, that thing. Go ahead and collect that. Now, data lattice. Data lattice is the natural resource for this planet. Okay, you're gonna find you're gonna find out that there are gonna be certain uh, natural resources that you need to upgrade your weapons. Okay, right now, right now, you don't have any uh, weapons you can upgrade. But once once you start getting those weapons, you'll 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 see what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. So um, all right. So there should be there should be your um. So do you see there should be on your map there should be something that says like or you should f be following an arrow that's taking you to uh the marker that starts this whole adventure do you see it great go on ahead and uh go on ahead and get it or go on ahead and uh and once you once you once you activate that we start we start the uh we, we start the adventure No, they're not going to do that. That is not their. This is not their way. <laughs> well, actually, I'm all right. All right. Guardian, there's a cloaked fallen in your vicinity. Neutralize it. We need to confirm a theory. All right. You have a you you've gotten a sparrow, right? Oh, okay. So you're hoofing it. All right, but well, don't worry. I'll hoof it with you. Okay, but hey, if you see, if you see data lat, if you see data lattice, pick it up. All right. All right, and then we found something on the body. These are coordinates to the Exodus Black. We have reports that the Fallen plan to destroy Failsafe's mainframe and scrapper for parts. Not on our watch. We're on our way, Failsafe. Whoa. Thank you very much. Continued existence is one of my prime directives. It was yep. the Cade unit who led the Fallen to me. He totally blew my cover. All of this is his fault. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, oh Joy, Joy Osmansky is a treasure. She is a treasure, and we love her dearly. Oh. Yeah, I won't lie. I won't lie, chat. One of the nice things about helping Steve through this, you know, it, it's something friends do to help you out. The other thing too is that it's great. It's great practice for me because I'm trying to get better at the bow. Um, I came to a conclusion today with uh, with another streamer that bows in this game are very cool. They are they are incredibly cool. The only downside about bows is that they're 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 they're, they're different with PvP with PVE. It's when you're dealing with PvP that they become I don't want to say problematic, but they just become whoa 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 whoa. Where are these guys. I was get I was getting I was getting punched by something. All right, I found the bomb, so I gotta figure out how to, I gotta I gotta I gotta get the oh suck it nerd. All right. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Come on. All right. I'm here. There we go. Signal from a nearby cave. I think that's where they're getting their orders. You died? Take out the leadership. Guardian down. Oh, then I just heard guardian down. Okay. All right. All right. Take a look. Take a look at um. Take take a look at your radar. Your radar is gonna have. Your radar will have. 
Your radar is going to have um, Yeah, the ra the radar can be a bit of a challenge. The glowing red, no, the glowing no, the glowing red, the glowing red thing is the glowing red thing is going to be um Hold on a second. I, I just got this I got this one yellow bar. I'm just I'm just going to There we go. There we go. And if you come over to where I am, you'll see that there's a loot. There's some loot here where I just I just picked up a picked up a, a high value target. <clears throat> All right, so there's a loot's always a good thing. All right, so the um, come to me, Steve. Come to me. There should be a. Um, you got me. All right, good. No, if you if you take a look at your radar, you'll see a white triangle. The white triangle, and there's a, just go ahead and collect that loot. There should be loot in there. There should be loot there. All right. So once you get the loot, all right. So let's 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 go. So there's a um, there's a white triangle on your on your um your uh, on your um, your radar. That's where you need to go. Now you'll notice that when you get near red or when red when red comes nearby you, um, you'll notice that there's going to be uh, there's going to be a, like a red zone that fills up. That's when you know you're near your enemy, enemy targets are within sight or close by. You get you get a warning of when enemy targets are close by when uh, you see a red line on your circle. But you see, that's one of the problems that you're going to have being the blind gamer. That is going to be such a detail that might be tough for you to see. But if you get it, yeah. Um, I mean, user accessibility in this game can get can get a little challenging. Um, now, something else to know about these guys, the robots, the Vex. Okay, they're, you know, you're, you're constantly being told, oh yeah, you want to do, um, you want to get, you want to get uh, crit hits, because of course more points and you don't have to go through as much arsenal. But here's what you need to know about crit hits with Vex. It's not a headshot. There is a light, there is a power core at the center of all Vex. And, uh, that's going to be where you, um, hey darling. Yeah. That's going to be where you uh, you get um, uh, you get the crit hit, but that's only with the vex. And I see you've already, you're already, yes, you've got the right idea. Go into that portal. Just go right in. Yep, yep. You had it just you were just fine. Say hi to Dave. Well, you get, well, he can hear you. Hi, Dave. That was Pip. Hi. He says, he, he says, I heard that. Yep. Wow. How's it going? All right. Wow. Not a helpful term on the battlefield, Ghost. So the fallen signal is coming from behind a massive barrier powered by Vex tech. Looks like they've stolen themselves a toy. There are a lot of fallen and Vex in here right now, yes. Basically, if it's moving, shoot it. And you don't have to worry about uh, you don't have to worry about friendly fire. Yeah. Five times over already. Yep. All right. Okay. Word of warning: the servitors that are on the, the servitors that are on fire, those guys are um those guys are uh, are explosive. So if you get if you if you if you get them if you get them when when they are um oh I'm out of I'm out of power ammo. Okay. Hang on. Okay, so I got the arc charge. Where are we taking it? We are. Oh, we're taking it up here. So right now there's a lot of shields, and uh, we just have to take the arc charge, and we just have to plop it in here, and that should take down the shields. All right. Thinking as much as I want to. Oh, because the bow is a terrible close quarters weapon. All right. There you go. Are you good? Are you good? All right. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Good man. You got the idea. Get into the habit now of doing that. Because it's going to be worse when you're going to be like, oh, I, I can make a sweet ass upgrade. And then you suddenly go, oh, I can't make a sweet ass upgrade. All right. Now, something else. You might notice there are going to be some of these fallen 
that they'll suddenly go, um, they'll, they'll suddenly start glowing. When they're glowing like that, that means they're shielded. Ah, son of a bitch. Yeah. I didn't realize that I, I missed the, I missed the, uh, the, the respawning warning. Okay. So, so when, so when the servitors, when the servitors, okay. Oh, we need to go. Yeah. All right. When the servitors are, uh, which are those large balls? Wow. When wow. they, not a helpful term. <laughs> when they shield the fallen, when they make so them the super sparkly glowy, from behind you can't hurt them at all. You cannot hurt them at all. Like so the only thing you can do is re is remove the source of the shield, and the source of the shield is always going to be is always going to be the servitor. But servitors, especially if they're yellow bars, they can be they can be pretty hard to kill. I just have to I just have to relax when I'm shooting. Oh. There we go. If I relax, if I relax with my bow. I can actually be pretty good at it. Um, shooting from far away is not a bad thing. But the thing is, you want to make sure that whatever weapon you're shooting from far away, you want to make sure that it's uh, that it's an appropriate uh, range weapon. Like a shotgun is a shotgun is a terrible range weapon. Okay, shotgun is a terrible range rep we weapon. Sniper rifle, good range weapon. All right, so we're gonna take this. Uh... All right, now that we know what not to do, we're gonna go on ahead and we're going to. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. No, 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 no I have it. I had it. Okay, so the, so. The servitors are the ones who have who, ha who have those those arc charges. So the next one, so okay, good good man. A couple more adventures, and I think you'll be ready to move on to Titan, uh, or sorry, uh, Io. But I was going to say the next the next couple of char now, the first level, it's usually son of a bitch, really. Um, no, 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 no. Um, but the but the um. Watch out for those servitors. Remember, if they're on fire, they're explosive. They're going to explode on you, and that's a pain in the butt. Oh, mother. Okay. Focus your focus your swords on the uh, focus your swords on this guy right here. The uh, the, the 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 ball. All right, good, good. Look to see if they dropped off the uh, if they if they dropped the uh, the arc charge because there there should be more than one arc charge. All right. Go ahead and pick it up. Go ahead and pick it up. Now, if you have the arc charge, you can no longer you can no longer. Oh, wait a minute! Did I just drop my arc charge? Oh no, you got it. Actually. Okay, so you're good. That's fine. So that's what she said. Um, where where, where oh, there we go. So where'd the second one go? Oh, so you got the yeah. You, all right. Good. No, because I had one, but somehow I lost mine. But that's fine. So long as you pick it up. Now. Now let's see who's been sending these fallen to kill failsafe. Okay. Kill them back. Now, the nice thing about these, yeah, there we go. This this boss can be a pain in the keister. Um. Actually. That was me. Oh. Maybe I should load my shotgun before I try to use it. Did we get him? We got him. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. Teamwork makes the dream work. You have my thanks, friendly ghost. Captain, you are clearly optimized to solve problems created by the Cade unit. 
That must be one of your designated day-to-day -day functions. Yep, go for it. Okay, so um, so that is an example of an adventure. So you follow you follow you follow yourself up here, and then there's the portal. You jump into the portal like this. You're automatically transported to the other side of the canyon which you came from, and then we come out the way we came in. Now that's one way of doing it. That's one way of doing it. Yeah, well, 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 look who we have here. How you doing there, Ascendant Ben? Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. Uh, I'm walking uh, walking blind gamer Steve. Yes, he is legally blind, and I am his... I guess you could call me his little light. And we are doing... Uh, we're doing... And I know, this is why we call it blind leading the blind. All right, so here's what we need to do now. Go to your map, Steve. Go to your map. And... Uh, yeah, relaxing. <laughs> How you been, Ben? Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming to my stream, saying hi. This is Steve. Steve, Ben, Ben, Steve. Oh, and uh, if you want to see what Steve is up to, uh, you can go on ahead and check this out here, Ben. Hold on a minute. Uh, it's going to be a fun night. going to be a fun night. All right, so um, so once, you, once you've got that, you'll notice the adventure is gone. Now you just pick another adventure, and we'll go on to it. Then once we hit 11, we'll move on to Io, okay? So, why not? Go for it. Go for it. Take us in. Now, what I'm going to recommend that we do is um, we go on ahead and we, we fast travel to the Artifact's Edge. Because that's, that's pretty close to where Hack the Planet is, okay? So, so you're going you're gonna to fast travel to Hack the Planet. All right. Okay. Now, if you recall, remember this is where we first we had the we have the giant tower, and you can either take the elevator down or you can do this. You can just be goofy and go this fall, and then right before you hit oh, just make sure you hit your jump button before you hit the ground. <laughs> I saw that. Wow. That was like a blur. That was just a blur. Wow, man. Gravity, it is the law. Okay. So, okay. So now, so if you're tracking it, uh, just follow the just follow it to um, just follow the 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 targeting and uh, follow your radar and we should be able to go and uh, start this start this adventure. There we go. That's what I gotta do. Are you rocking? Are you rocking a submachine gun? Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> oh, you're. Uh, Okay, now remember you can always switch your weapons by um, by hitting by hitting triangle, and that 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 will switch your weapons. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give my bow something of a rest and see if I can get. Uh, let's see, the fridge jackalope. Whoa, a 483 submachine gun. Hmm. All right, hang on a minute. Can I? Hang on a second. Oh, I've got enough. I'll do that. There we go. I mean, the submachine guns are nice and all, but this is the foreground conclusion we're talking about. Okay. Um, you're ahead of me. Let's get going. All right. So, so, so you're tracking. Now, normally we would jump on our sparrows and we'd go for you know we'd go for uh, we we'd go for a, a little a little jaunt. But since you haven't gotten your sparrow yet, don't worry, you will. When you get your sparrow, that'll make this this uh, feel a little less Fortnite-ish. All right, all right. So we are now descending into the hollows. You can go on ahead, and you can take the steps down, or you can just take the express elevator, time it right, and then you can just glide down. 
Just glide down. There you are. Yes. Yes. Well done, sir. Uh, the pulse rifle. Yeah, the pulse rifle has uh, the pulse rifle hits a little harder than than an auto rifle. Um, I tend to I tend to the uh, auto rifles tend to be my, my my security blanket, but I will say that auto rifles are oh hello. Auto rifles tend to be uh, oh what a poor life choice I've just made here. Um, auto rifles tend to be for me uh, like like security blankets. You just just hold 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 the trigger down and 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 go for it. But the problem that it's it. Yeah. Spray and pray. But here's the problem though. But here's the problem with with that strategy in 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 D two. Um, now remember that thing. Hey, that that thing right there is shielded, but it does have a break. Ah, I didn't didn't lock on. The shield does have a break. Just give it a second. There we. Oh really? All right. Now. Hang on. Now, what I was going to say was, is that the, um... We got this thing on the ropes. Just, just, just give me the break. There we go. Good night, nurse. All right, there we go. Yeah. You got Oh, that's the other thing. You got to be careful. When, when those things tend to blow up, they, they, they have a... Oh, you got some data labs over here. Okay. Uh, don't worry about rallying the flag. But, um, let's do... Let's go on ahead. Uh, let's get to the quest. So, where's the quest? All right. What I was going to say was that that um, auto rifles they tend to have the the less impact of of weapons. That's the only downside. So it's more bullets, but less but but uh, less impact. And um, pulse rifles tend to you know they they have the short controlled bursts, but they also um, all right get us going. Um, but they tend to hit they they tend to hit a lot harder. Then there's scout rifles. The scout rifles are are the they're like mark. mini snipers. And then them. snipers, of course, are just brutal. They're brutal at a distance. Um, and uh, you know, you get really good at sniping, you're unstoppable, basically. All right, so let's connect fail safe. Let's connect fail safe. And um, you know, the the rest you can figure out. But auto rifles have a place. Auto rifles do have a place. And I think all rifles have gotten have gotten better in D two. <coughs> Ooh, wait a minute. These beacons should allow us to hook failsafe into the Ness's core. Think of all the data she could pull. It is a proactive and clever plan, friendly ghost. I still think it's a bad idea. Uh, okay. This is a this is a public event. We do not have to join it since it's just the two of us. I would I would say let's focus on let's focus on getting our uh, adventure done because we want to move you through the story. And while now granted, um, public public adventures uh, or rather public events do make them go by a do do make them. Um, do make them uh, do make you level up a little faster, but for stream for, for streaming purposes, let's go on ahead. And let's just uh, let's let's stick with the adventures. Let's see how we do. This one's all you. All right. Uh, the last one I'll let I'll, I'll I'll let you do. But here here's gonna be this is gonna be another thing that I'd be interested to see uh, how how someone with vision impairment as you. Uh, fair in this. So okay. So follow. Yeah, follow the um, follow the white. Follow the yellow, the white triangle. You're doing great. You're doing just fine. Okay. When you, yeah. When you see that flash, it basically means more vex is coming or coming in. So we may be here for quite some time before they give us a break. All right. I just leveled up to 46. So go me. All right. Now follow me. Follow me, my friend. This is where it's gonna. Wait, there's a bigger one? Hang on. Hang back if you have to. Oh, that guy. I hate that guy. He's a, he's a, he's a jerk. Those are minotaurs. 
No matter what size the Minotaurs are, they are they are just the scourge of my existence. Yep. Oh, and that was a high value target. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you'll come over to where I'm at, you'll see that there's a that that the 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 uh, the, the triangle becomes a diamond, right? Here's where I think it's going to be interesting for you. You see it in your you see it in your uh, in your you, you you see it on your on your um on your radar, right? Okay, that means we are close to what we need to do, which means we are we maybe have to go up here. So let's find out. So follow me. So first you want to you want to hop hop up where I'm at. You want to hop up where I'm at. All right. I think I see. Yeah. Okay. Now is there a, is there a circle up there? Yeah. Drop your beacon. Now stay there for just a second after you drop your beacon. This is going to be probably your biggest challenge in Destiny if you play if you play without me, um, which is that sometimes your objectives are going to be above you because this works in this works in three dimensions. Um, so the thing is, you have picked a really fun quest, but man, is it a hard quest, <laughs> especially for you, man? Am I on PC yet? Uh, December. December's when it's going to happen, Ben. December is when it's going to happen. Then you can be T and I can be Steve on your on, on, with you. How about that? Does that work for you, Ben? <laughs> I've got some saving up. I still have some saving up I need to do because I need to make sure I have enough money not just for um, not just for uh, uh, Destiny on PC, but I also have to make sure I have enough for the annual pass. So huh, there we go. All right, all right. So Steve, um, we need to go this way. I went up here. I went up and I went over the hill. Oh, this. Oh, we have another Minotaur here. Really? All right. It's the same one, yeah. But the good news is that if we kill him again, if we kill him again, we get another chest. Just remember. Not the headshot for the Vex is the center of their chest. You're welcome. Muzzle Toff. All right, here we go. All right, now we're heading up here. So you go ahead and take the lead. I'll, I'll I got your back. Uh, well, that was where the public event was, but I think you can also. Well, no, I guess you can't. So come on, come on around here. Remember, you don't have to. You don't necessarily have to kill everything. Yeah, you can actually. Well, you can actually go buy it. So let's uh, let's 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 go buy this. Same guys who we were trying to sneak it sneak by earlier. So come on, come on over. That's it. And take the lead. All right. Nah, it'll be it'll be it'll be fun, Ben. And you know, after after the wait, I promise to make it worth your while with all my potato shooting. It'll be great. You're gonna love it. Now, one other thing you're gonna notice too, Steve, when you want to reload a weapon, um, which is why reload speed matters, especially if you decide to go PvP and go into the Crucible. Um, <clears throat> uh, you can never reload while you're sprinting. You can reload while you're walking, but not while you're sprinting. You're, you're quite welcome. All right. Let's see how we're doing here. Yes. Yeah, there, there's, there's a lot to this game. And I'd be really curious 
do you are you able to appreciate the visuals at all in Destiny 2? I mean, because you did see you did see the Leviathan. And that's what I'm trying to figure out is Ah, okay. You, yeah, you, yeah, you don't see them, which makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. All right. So we're following the. So going back to it, we're following the the uh, the white arrow, heading in that direction. And it's saying that we're, we're, we are we are we are trying the and the objectives you if you if you if you ever miss your objectives you can always uh, look off to your left because that's where it's going to be or you can just uh, pull up your ghost by hitting the uh, the deep uh, the um, the the D pad no no D pad is the it, are the arrows um, the central the central pad and I'm trying to remember what they call that the touchpad the touchpad. If you hit the touchpad, your ghost comes up, and that will give you, that will give you uh, all of your objectives and what you what you need what you need to what you need to accomplish. All right. Hunted. Hunted, Ben. Hunted. <laughs> Now, one thing I did want to find out, Steve, are you shooting from the hip or are you aiming down sight? Okay, yeah, okay, so, but, so I just want to make sure you knew how to do that. All right, so you're heading in the right direction. So far, so good. We're doing just fine. Uh, yeah, you're going, you're going the wrong way now. Follow me. Oh, actually, whoops, whoops, whoops. We are real close to it. Yeah, sometimes it can be underneath or behind you. Uh, let's see. That's not it. All right. Actually, interesting. No, there's a there's certain there's certain places you cannot go in this game, and um, actually it says hey, you got to come down where I'm at. Um, if you really get stuck, pull out your, pull out your ghost, and when you and, and it, it, will, it will give you a, a diamond, and uh, an even bigger diamond, and that bigger diamond will basically say, oh no, you got to go. Um, like at one point, well, yeah, yeah. It's underneath us. It's underneath us. See this, and and you know what? Don't feel bad because this is this was one thing that always threw me for a loop in Destiny. I would walk around. I would walk around stuff and go, "Why can't I find it? Why can't I find it?" And if it wasn't, and then I figured out, "Oh wait, it's either above me or it's or it's below me." And man, that was that was. I, I mean, I have and I have decent eyesight. And I, I was struggling. So you just have to you just have to sometimes remember this game works in three dimensions. All right. So there we go. Is open. Get ready, failsafe. I am practicing my best Vex impressions. Please do not let them capture me, Captain. Just treat it like tightrope walking. Don't All right. think about it. Now you're not helping. Now we head in this direction. So Steve, go ahead and take the lead. I got you back. <laughs> Is that what? Okay. Now, now, hang on, hang on. Again. Okay, it's above us. It's above us. So we got to go up this path. Yeah. So it's got to go up this path. Now, one of the other things you'll notice too. 
after you pull out your uh, you pu pull out your ghost and then you put your ghost away, the the larger the larger diamond will linger for a bit. You good? Hang on. Remember, don't forget you got grenades. You got grenades like that. <laughs> You forgot you had grenades, didn't you? <laughs> uh, no, hey, hey, hey. Blind leading the blind. I cannot tell you how many times I forgot that... Whoa, 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 okay. That I forgot about my grenades. All right, so c come over here. Now, do you trust me? Jump into that circle. Jump into that circle. Jump into that circle. Jump into that circle. Jump into the circle. And hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I have interfaced with the Nessus. There form. you go. See? Easy. All right. Grab everything that's not nailed down. The Vex are attempting to impede my progress. There should be a conflux nearby. Please stabilize it for me. The stable the, the confluxes are these things. You just go up and you stabilize them. Now eliminate those data cubes. They contain security protocols that are blocking my progress. There's one. You're a pro. I knew this could work. Yeah, you see him? Good man. All right. There's four. There's one more. There's one more. There's one more. There's there's a rando up here just helping us out, which is very cool. Don't mind that at all. Thanks, Rando. I have marked other confluxes for stabilization. Destroy the cubes they generate. But you know what? While we're here, might as well join this public event. So, come on, come on down. There's that server again. Actually, this is a new server. Now, when you kill them, they stay dead. There you go. Ow. Okay, now to make this event, to make this event, um, I'm trying to remember how to make this event heroic. I don't know since I've done this one. Um, you need to you need to not kill the larger servitor straight away. You want to kill the smaller servitors that it spawns. So where you see the smaller servitors, that's that's what you want. That's what you want to do. Because that one big servitor in the middle, yeah, you don't want that one. You don't want to kill that one. But the smaller ones, if you get rid of the smaller ones, that should make the that should make the uh, that should make the event uh, heroic. Are there, okay, so there are two right now. There are two right now in the uh, in the pit. There are three right now in the pit. Get rid of them now. Oh, son of a bitch. Now, meanwhile, you got to do this while all these other guys are shooting at you. That's the that's the that's the challenge of this. All right. Yeah, that's normal. That's normal. I know there's a lot going on here. Even for a public event, this feels this feels really busy. It's not a it's not a major prerogative to turn the to turn the um to turn the uh to turn the public event heroic, but it does it does help you level up extremely easy. It's extremely faster. I'm not seeing those smaller servers, so I'm just going to go on ahead and get rid of this guy. Oh. There he is. And he's down. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, it was not heroic. 
destroyed their healer service. When it's heroic, when it's heroic, you get a little more bonus. I'll go ahead and pick up that, uh... I feel exactly as much joy now as I did after your first triumph. Alright. Now. Thing is, this guy is a bonus. And if we can get him, we get more loot. And again, you get more experience. Whoa, he's around me, isn't he? Where is he? Where'd he go? Yeah, um, he's actually traveling through time. That's what that's what Vex do. They travel through time. All right. Yeah. That. Yeah. There's a whole subplot about the Vex and time travel and all that in uh, in the Curse of Osiris. All right. Hang on. Well. All right. So. Meanwhile. Okay, we need to get rid of some of these some of these cubes floating in the air. Ah, there they are. Alright, objective complete. Nicely done. Failsafe, the Vex have sent a mind after us. Failsafe? Any updates? So, she's been captured by the Vex. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I can fix this. Get me the data core from that mine. All right, so get out get out of here, Steve. Yep, yep, get out of there, Steve. You need do you, do you need some help? I'm right here. Come where I'm at. When you can't, when you can't, if, if you ever feel like you don't know where you're going, go on ahead and just uh, uh, find me. Yeah, because you don't, you don't. I'm, I don't know if you, I don't know if you want to deal with this guy right now. But oh, actually, why not? He's a high value target. A couple of uh. Yeah, we got this guy. We got this guy. Melt him. Oh, he's up there! He's up there! Son of a bitch is cheating! He's up there! I know, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. Well done. Well, we gotta get up there. And it's not that hard to get up there. We just have to... We just have to, you know, hop up here. Hop up here. Ah, oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. I just fell. Alright. I'm not gonna let that guy get away from me a second time. Not gonna let him get away from me a second time. We got a couple of blueberries on him already. No, oh, did he? Did he? Did he disappear again? He did. He disappeared again. Son of a bitch, man! I wasted a super on that guy. Okay, screw that. I'm. Screw that. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. All right. Um. So we need to get to the uh, we we need to get to the to the to the core. Oh wait, no, he's over here. He's over here. He's over here. Oh, and he's regenerated. Really? Wait, I have a tracking module on this, and it went by him. Really? Oh, son of a fish. Where is he? Where is he? He's... I know. He's got to be around here somewhere. He's got to be around here somewhere. I know. I know. Um... Alright. Personally, I think this is a distraction we don't need. So let's, uh, let's move on. Come this way. I know that's that the, the completest the completest in me want wants to finish him off, but I don't think it's gonna happen. All right, so follow the uh, let's follow the white triangle. Let's find out where we need to go. Blue engram just dropped. That better not be him rematerializing. Is it? Is it? It is.
Is he worth it? Is he worth it? Not really, no. He's not worth it. He's not worth it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a second. I take that back. He's the challenge. What am I, what am I doing? He's the challenge. Hang on. Okay, I have zero heavy ammo. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. No, 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 he's around. He's around. He's, he's ahead of us. He's somewhere ahead of us. Yeah, um, I thought he was up there. Turns out he's not. He is... Alright, we gotta get, we gotta get up, we gotta get up here. So, hold on. Nope, that's not high enough. Alright, we gotta get up there. Yeah, he's up here. He's up here. Oh god, I got I got yeah, he's up. He's up there and I have I I'm just shy of a super. I need just a little more. Just oh, fudge. Oh my god. Game your Shit. I was I was just shy of him. Tell tell me you're up. Tell me you're up. All right. Nope, he's gone. He's gone. We gotta wait for him to respawn. Yeah, yeah. He's he's the mine core. All right. Here's the thing. When um when you get to your super, when you get to your super. Just, just melt him. Just, just, just concentrate all on him. Oh man, that was, that was. Okay, he's back. He's back. Where is he? You see him? I found him. I found him. I found him. He's right. He's right. Yeah, come find me. Come find me because I'm looking at him right now. And he's 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 still at the original. He's still at the original uh, spot we left him at. All right. Ah. Shit. Okay. Melt him. Melt him. Melt him. Melt him. No, he's over there! He's over there! He's over there! He's over there! <laughs> now it drops. And now it drops it. Now it drops it. Alright. Okay, hang on. Hang tight. Hang tight. Hang tight. Get, yeah, yeah, get out of there. You want to get out of there. Okay, come on, let's go back this way. Still got a, still got a little more to take care of. I, maybe I was wrong. Maybe that wasn't. Maybe that wasn't it. Because now it's saying we got to do, we got to, we got to do something else over here. <sighs> Yeah, there's another one. It's all right. It's all right. We'll get him. That's right. Yeah, I know. And I think that it's got to be something to do with. It's got to be. It's got to be because. 
I don't remember this mission being so hard. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Now, now you're doing fine. You are doing just fine. Where is he? Oh, he's up there. He's back up top. Oh, for frig's sake. Ah. Nope. Alright, where is he? He's over here. Oh, now, now, hold on. Oh, he knocked me off the map, that friggin' jerk. Okay. I just have to get a That's that's where I get frustrated with myself in this game when I'm when I when I when I'm trying to land a jump and I land short. Alright. Alright. Where's this guy? Don't wanna lose him again. Don't wanna lose him again. Alright. Down. Yeah, that doesn't it doesn't give him a headache, I don't know what will. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, where the so New objective. Rescue fail save. We did it. We did it. We did it. I know, I know. <laughs> All right, so well, don't worry. You're you're getting experience and you're leveling up. That's the important bit. Right now, you should be extremely close to um. You should you should be very close to um. All right, we need to get out of here. Uh, but we need to go. We need to go. We need to go this way. Um. We can try it. I don't see why not. Sounds good. Let's do it. Yep, that's good. Through the portal is good. <laughs> Take a breath. I know, I know, I know. You're yeah, it's 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 uh it's pretty vish. It's pretty vicious. Failsafe's gotta be in here somewhere. Help me get rid of the interference from these confluxes, and I should be able to lock right. onto her location. The confluxes, just so you know, the confluxes are those glowy, uh, those glowy towers. So like, and there's also these boxes, and they're vex. So go on ahead and uh, get rid of the boxes. But remember, remember about those boxes. Uh, be careful because they explode. Like that. Nicely done. Got her. We've locked her in a cube construct. Take out the Vex and we'll free her. We hope it's not too late. Whoa! Didn't even see that Cyclops there. This won't take long. Not at that rate. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, go. Now, now, release failsafe. So come up. So come up here. Come up here and release failsafe. Thank you, Captain. There you go. I have spent the last decade speaking with a Whew. prisoner. A decade? It didn't take us that long. Time must work differently within the network. He was a very good listener. <sighs> it's a shame I couldn't take him with me. He showed me a myriad of potentialities for this galaxy. How the Vex intend to shape them? I will share with your vanguard. I'm so sorry I put you through that. But you did. And I never forget those who wronged me. 
<laughs> oh, she's fantastic. All right, you're level 10. Nicely done. All right. So, jump into the portal. All right. Do you need to take a break at all? You doing all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yes, darling? I think we lost an inflatable outside. Which one? The, 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 the ghosts? The ghosts of the cauldron. Oh, the, you know, that one is so old. Yes, I, know. I wish it could have just lasted one more day. Though. Just, yeah. Well, if, if it's not working, it's not working. We, we can always check it tomorrow, but... Um, the graveyard's still there. Graveyard's still there, and we got the lights, and, you know, we're, we're good with that. All right, um, so take a look at your adventures, and um, you can we can decide which adventure you want to go on next. But remember, we can always fast travel and uh, and find it there. Now, the other option you have is that uh, if you want, you can always uh, you know you can always risk it and uh, and go into IO on a level on a level eleven on a level ten. Shouldn't be too bad. You just have to hang back a little bit, and I would have to take point. Well, hang on a second. Uh, first off, let's let's take a look though at some of the other weapons you've picked up because you've got you notice you've got some uh, you've got some um, uh, some items that you've just picked up. You see how you see how you see, if you look at your you look at where your your primary weapon or sorry your yeah your primary weapon is. You've got these little boxes that are shining. Those boxes shining are basically new weapons you picked up. Yeah. See, you got pow Whoa. Go back. Go back to that. Go back. Go back to those uh, those primaries again. And you'll notice that in the lower corner, one's 92, another one's 93. You have a scout rifle, and next to it, to your right, is an auto rifle called Home Again. Arm yourself with that. <clears throat> the auto rifle, Home Again. Yeah, go on ahead and arm yourself with that. Now, that's a 93 auto rifle. 93. There you go. So already your lights jumped up to 87. Now, go over there. You have a 91 auto rifle. Now, you could do two auto rifles, but the thing is, it's a good idea to mix it up when and where you can. Something tells me... Yeah, I see already right there. Hang on a minute. Um, one of the other things I'm noticing, though, you'll notice that you've got three weapons of the same type. You've got uh, a Hel... Uh, let's see, it was a Helios HC-1. Go down and to your right. Stay, there's the stay away, which is going to... I stop there. So you got to... <laughs> the delay is killer. Okay. <clears throat> so go, down one row. All right, stop. There you go. You got a Helios HC-1 at 46. If you move straight up one weapon... Straight up one weapon. Right. And then to the left of that, you have another Helios. So you have a 46, a 51, and what was the third one? <clears throat> okay, so here's what I want you to do. Your, if your mouse, if, if your cursor is on the 38, yep. leave it there, and then hit the X, hold down the, uh, the, the, um, the square. That's dismantle, yeah. And what that will do is that will dismantle the weapon, and um, when you get uh, different weapons, higher higher power weapons they will actually <clears throat> they will actually uh uh give you weapon parts or they'll give you legendary shards or in this case it'll just give you glimmer um now i would arm myself with the with your two best weapons so you've got a, a daystar smg which is at 72 and then you had right next to it a white smg which was also at which was at 70. arm yourself with the 72. Oh, I take that back. I take that back. You've got a you've got a ninety one auto run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the seventy two. Oh, actually no. But but here's what I want you to do instead. Uh, go go back to your now your second slot. Your second slot. I'll, I'll go on ahead and follow along here with you. Your second slot is um, uh, these are these are called your energy weapons. Okay. 
and you're gonna have <clears throat> you're gonna have um no oh, look at that you're gonna have different types of weapons in there what I think you should do is you should mix it up and have um because you already have your auto rifle that's your that's your close quarters gun you really should have yeah, I'm sorry your auto rifle is, is your distance gun you need something for close quarters so I see you've got the you've got those hand cannons I would pick your highest powered hand cannon and go with that as your um it looks like you have a couple other high, uh, a couple others. Let me see what else you've got there. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Use use the use the fifty one. Use the fifty one, and, we'll, and trust me, you'll you'll get something better uh, as you go. But one of the advices that a friend of mine gave me was is he said instead of being reliant on one weapon, try to be reliant on as many different weapons as possible, and you'll find which which weapons work best for you. That's the thing. Um, I think you're, now, those power weapons at the bottom, you've got a grenade launcher and uh, and a rocket launcher. I think you're fine with those. You just, right, right now, what I think you need to look at are the are the, uh, the power levels of your different weapons. Now, you've got, um, I would not, I would not worry about your, your sun bracers. I would hang on to the sun bracers. Um, but you do have you do have a, you do have new chest armor, and you've also got new. Um, it looks like you've also got new new boots as well. Look at those and see what the power level are in that. If it if it's high if it's higher, go on ahead and go on ahead and uh, and you know put it on. Four, six. There you go. Okay, so here's what I'm going to show you about uh, about um, now. So here, here I'm going to ask you: uh, Are you watching the multi at all, or do you see the multi on at all? Okay, so you see mine. All right, so let me go on ahead and show you real quick, Steve, what I what I talk about when I talk about um, high, higher higher armor and what to do with it, and I'll walk you through it the first time you, you you have it happen. So you'll notice that I've got blues, I've got yellows, and I've got purples. The purple armor is called legendary. You're already you're you're right now at at light blue and green. Now I'm at, now um blue is rare, green is I believe common and then you've got the white armor and the, and the and the white items that you have are just standard standard weapons but rare have a little extra kick to them the purple ones are legendary and anything you see that's yellow that's considered an exotic which means it is op as fuck and it is absolutely awesome and it's going to be it's a mind bender that's what is so important about those about those bracers of yours those bracers are exotics. Now, um, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to go on ahead and uh, open up your exotic. Go, go to your sun bracers, which are the gauntlets. Um, yeah, and just hit details. All right, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what what, uh, what what I'm doing here. All right, so I've got um, I've got the. Uh, let's see. What do I want? I want. Um, yeah, mobile. Do I want the? Yeah, I'll take the devastation complex. So, nah, the anti-extinction plate. I like that one more. Um, actually, no, no, I'm gonna go with the devastation. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wear my devast. I'm gonna equip my devastation. Now, here's what I'm gonna do with it. No, not that one. I hate that. I forgot. That's got the fur liner. That's what I want. Okay, and I'm gonna go into details. All right, so right now I'm into details. Right now, this has a power level of 367. Okay, you see that power level 367. Okay, now what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go over and go to where uh, where you see armor mods, and uh, you'll. I want you to do the same for your sun bracers. Go to armor mods, and then put your cursor on the on the on the uh, the furthest left icon. When you do that, it's going to show you all the armor that you have currently in your collection, all the armor that you have, 
all the different gauntlets and stuff like that. Now, it's not going to do it for Sunbrace. It's not going to do it for your exotics because I don't think you've unlocked the ability to do anything with those yet because I know you've got other Sunbracers. I know you've got other, other gauntlets. So let me walk you through what I'm about to do here. So you'll notice that this is 367. I've got 455, 372, etc., 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 and then there's 479 right here, right? So because it is a purple piece of armor, because it is legendary, I can do this. I can go down to 479, and you'll notice it'll say, well, if you want to upgrade this armor, this is what you're going to need. So it says I need uh, legendary shards. i got plenty of those. It says I need a uh, masterwork enhancement core. I've got plenty of those. Dusk light shards, which I can pick up on Earth, the natural resource on Earth, I don't have enough. So, so let me just go on ahead and let me, ah, I don't want to do that. So let me, let me try, let me try. Yeah, let me try this one. I think I have enough, I think I have everything for this one. No, I don't, I think that needs dusk light shards as well. Damn it. Hang on. Hold, please. Um, how about shelter in place? There we go. Okay. So the shelter in place again. Legendary armor. It's purple. I go down to inf I go. To, I go to my uh, infuse. I go to four seventy nine. It's currently three seventy nine. Watch what happens. Notice I have enough glimmer. I have enough legendary shards. I have enough cores, and I have enough alkane dust. If you remember, alkane dust was the natural resource that we had on Titan. This piece of armor comes from Titan. So I've got everything I need. I then hold down my square. Now this piece of armor that was once 379 is now 479. All the perks carry over. That's what's called infusing armor. Okay, And you can only do that with, uh, with purple and with uh, with uh, with uh, legendary and exotics or purple and yellow armor, you can't do it with green, can't do it with blue, definitely can't do it with white. Does that make sense? Right. And if I remember correctly, uh, if you if you can go uh, if you can go back out to your character and then hover over your uh, your your um, uh, your gauntlets again, I can see what you have in stock, like this. I'm just curious. Yeah, hover over your uh, sun bracers again, but don't go into don't go into them. Yeah, you can't infuse you can't infuse green or white armor. You can only infuse blue and up, which is blue, purple, purple, yellow. Got it? Got it? All right. Okay. Then I think I think once I do this, um, yeah, I'm definitely doing that. Am I definitely doing that? Yeah, I'm definitely doing that. Um, um, oh, and I have mods I can take advantage of. Let's do super regeneration. And all these little mods that you can do, um, you can go on ahead and do them, provided you have the glimmer and the resources to do them with. That's that's the trick. That's the real trick. And um, and you just you just you you learn as you go. You do. You learn as you go. Um, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, um, we were going to do, so, so, um, so you're right now at, uh, you're level 10. You've just, you've just armed yourself with, with more, um, with more of your, uh, higher, higher power gear. Um, what do you want to do? Do you want to do an adventure? Or you want you want to give Io a shot? I think we could do Io. I I personally think we should go go. Yeah, I really think we should go for the gusto and and do Io. All right. So take us to Io, my friend. Let's do this. And for those of you watching, we are doing um we are doing the blind leads the blind tonight. Oh, it won't. In wow. Okay. Then I guess we're doing another adventure. <laughs> That's okay. I was just feeling I, I was feeling ambitious. I know I was I actually was like, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. But yeah, I didn't realize that it would be a big girl cat. Uh so let's see. Do you have any perks that you want? 
Lost Crew is a good one. That's got a good story to it. So let's do Lost Crew. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Back up, back up, back up. Um. Yes, Lost Crew. Lost Crew. That's the one you want. Lost Crew. Lost Crew. I was right. All right. The closest fast travel to Lost Crew. Let me uh, let me pull up my map and I'll uh, I'll let you know. Um, we're doing Lost Crew. Actually, no, it's Artifacts Edge. It's Artifacts Edge. So just head to Artifacts Edge. Because the reason why we want to do the reason why you want to do Lost Crew is that that's going to give you an upgrade point. Which means you get to you get to you get to build on your ability. So let's let's go and let's do that. And this time I'm taking the elevator down. All right. Yep, that's the tunnel thingy. You're doing you're doing very well. <laughs> I am learning all the things. All right, we head in the right direction. All right, that's good. It's always a good sign. Oh, the sparrow. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Right. Right now, you're right now. You're just you know you're just doing the uh, you're just doing what I call the, the the Fortnite shuffle, which they don't even do anymore. They're not. They now like put in like uh, moon buggies and all kinds of wacky stuff in there. Oh, that's right. It, oh, really? <laughs> well, that's that's the thing that I find I find interesting. I, I know a lot of people have been uh, been jumping into Red Dead Redemption. I don't. I am not familiar with the franchise, so I'm just assuming. Is it just like a? Is it just a Wild West game? I mean, is that that that's really all it is, right? Oh, I see. Right, and it'll, it'll, it'll bring it'll bring you up to speed. Okay. Gotcha. Captain, okay. All right. I so this. Yeah. Watch this. What became of two members of the Exodus Black crew? They left on their own a long time ago. Never came back. Um. Sure. Failsafe. Where do we start? The local Vex will have the data I need to begin the search. Get, get, kill some Vex. The Vex noted two humans passing through this region ages ago. Beings from Earth were a rare occurrence back then. I've located a conflux with more information. Failsafe, you're not expecting your crewmates to still be alive, are you? No, they are very dead. But I want to know what happened. The missing crew. What were they like? One was a scientist and philosopher. The other, an engineer. If they're out there, we'll find them. Alright. So far, so good. Yeah, this one has a pretty this one has a pretty fascinating story. So I, I kinda dig this one. This, this was one I remember this uh, this adventure was one of my favorites. 
Now, one of the things you also notice about the Vex, especially when you get a little closer to them, that if they feel like their 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 power their power core is in trouble, they will actually um, they will actually uh, shield it, which is kind of cool. And for future reference, do you see the uh, that that's that is a that's the symbol of a lost sector right there. That is. Do you see it? It's off to it's off to your. Oh, you actually need to come back to me. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lost sector. Just 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 FYI, just an FYI. And of course, we could, we could do that, but right now we're we're gonna we're gonna finish up the the um, the adventure. If for some reason the adventure doesn't get you up to eleven, we'll we'll we'll, we'll hit the lost sector, and that should push you over the edge. All right. Now. I'm going to also recommend, because I know that one of your weapons is a hand cannon, I suggest you give the hand cannon a shot, just so you can get an idea of what it's like with the hand cannon, you know, shooting it and everything. Because it handles very differently from an auto rifle. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Don't forget your grenades, and also remember. And also remember, you see that swirly white stuff. If you work through that, that will actually hurt your character. That's actually uh, that that's vex milk. Ooh, and if you have a if you have a um, I was gonna say if you have a uh, grenade, now would be a good time to use it. There you go. The best time for grenades is when everybody groups together. When they group together like that, that is the perfect time for for uh, for um. For grenades. All right. Um, we're already doing it. The hack is in progress. We just have to keep the vex off of it. Otherwise, they they f up the they f up the hacks, and we got we got to start start over again. So watch for the waves. When you see the light, that's when you know incoming vex. Ones that are the ones that are the worst are these are these snipers. I hate them. The snipers are the ones that when you shoot them, they actually duck on themselves so that you can't get to their power core. Where are we at? We're at eighty percent with that hack. Okay. Nice though. You drop some. You drop some orbs. That's always good. Oh, they're over here. Captain, Boom. The the Boom. You and have I really like that new super a lot. <laughs> my yeah. Were to in a similar experiment. Well, I mean, yeah. There's um, the um, the 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 supers, the 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 different supers. Everyone has their favorite. Uh, for myself, with the Titan, I have never quite gotten a hang of the um, of the uh, of of the Sentinel, which is the Captain America mode. That's that's you know when you're when you're when you've got the the shield. Okay, now watch this very carefully. Yeah, watch out. <laughs> Some of these, some of these disappear. So they don't refer to you by that title. Yeah. What do they call us? Those who um, yeah. That which we cannot simulate. Huh. Catchy. I can wait for you. It's all a matter of timing, though. But this is going to be where you get real good at jumping. I'll wait for you. You're sprinting. You're sprinting. I see you. I sees you. There you are. 
Get those steps in, son. Get those steps in. All right, now. I know. Now, here's what I want you to notice, okay? All right, that module, that module over there to the left, I've already got. Now, before you jump, this is what I want you to watch. Just watch the timing and watch the ones that do change and jump and don't change. All right? So, you jump. This one is safe. And now we just have to get the pattern over here. So, let me see. So, the other data module we want is over there. So we can either jump down to there, then jump up, or we can just be patient and wait. And we're going to wait. Jump right here, jump where I'm at, and then jump again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you make it? Okay. Um, going ahead, while I while I draw their fire, going ahead and uh, get, the other, um, get the other access point. You got it? All right, since this one isn't disappearing anywhere, we don't have to worry. We can just go on ahead. All right, so the third one is... Where's the third one? The third one is... Oh, it's up there. It's 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 all the way over there. Now, this one's going to be tricky. So here's what we're going to do. We're, we're going to wait We're going to wait for this pattern. We're going to wait for this, for, for this guy to come back. Okay, jump once. Jump over here. Oh, crap. Oh crap, whoa, all right. Okay, otherwise you've got to start all the way from the beginning again. Now, where are we getting that from? All right, jump. And then, oh boy. Then jump. Ah, this is, this. the timing on this is, yeah, there you go. You're missing crew. You got it, How did they get nice work. Now, they where do we go? We go forward, so jump forward. Well done. That is a pain in the ass when you can't do it. So nicely done. Nicely done. Not not bad for. <laughs> well, no. The funny thing is, the, the the character you picked for yourself, it has got one of the it has got one of the hardest jump mechanics of anything in the game. And uh, there are a lot of people that, that are very critical of uh, of warlocks because of it. All right. So the next step is underneath this. So we have to we have to drop down from here. Okay. Well, you don't want to do. You don't want to just jump down, jump down. I mean, but that's okay. Oh, guy caught in a guy caught in a crossfire. Got it. No, we do not go into the portal this time. This time, this time we go. Uh, this way. We go... Oh, we, oh, we're going... Wait a minute. Oh, we gotta go down. We gotta get down. It's underneath us. Oh, we also have to follow the Vex hologram. So I'm assuming the Vex hologram has, uh... is down here. down. Alright. Well, we gotta find the Vex hologram. Where's the Vex hologram? Oh, is it uppish? Hang on. Alright, I'm gonna follow you then. Take the lead. There you are. I see you. Hold on. Is there a problem? Is there a problem? Oh, wow. Oh, hi, dude. Here, take that. And then hang on. I'll get, I'll get you. I'll get you. There we go. You're welcome. See, these guys right here, the one that's shielding himself, he's one of the snipers. This guy's a jerk. Yeah. I've lost count how many times I've died to those guys.
Now remember, other creatures just go for the head. Other creatures are fine. It's only the Vex that are the pains in the butts. Now wait a minute. I think we were just up here. Ow! Oh, these guys? Really? Alright, hang on. First, data lattice, so I'm just gonna pick that up while we're here. I thought I saw the, um, the hologram. Give me a second. The holograms are different from data lattice. The holograms are, are like are like a are like a pure cube. Right. That probably means it's it's probably below. Hang on a minute. According now, now I've pulled up. I pulled up my ghost. I pulled up my ghost. My ghost is telling me. Oh, my ghost is telling me this guy's a pain in the ass. My ghost is telling me. All right, hold on. My ghost is telling me it's in this direction, but now it's telling me it's behind me. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I think if if if, if we're standing, I don't know if it's up there, and I don't think we're going to reach that. Where we're, I don't think we, I don't think there we we I don't, I don't I don't think we can reach that. No, that's that might be a little too high. Because even if I jump, even if I jump over here, and I climb, nah, nah. Um, it's 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 got to be below us. It's got to be below us. Right. Let me just double check that. All right. There's another. There's another possibility. There's another possibility. Could be on the other side. Uh, other side of the structure. Again, this is this is the joys of destiny. Yep, yep. But you know what? Before before we before we traverse all the way around this. Ah, uh, thanks for the bit. Thanks for the bits, Crabby Fish of the Sea. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Happy Halloween to you. Actually, what? Yeah, hang on. I'm coming to you. I was going to suggest instead of following me and going around this direction, I was going to go around the other direction. Because I remember seeing the hologram in this direction. That's where I remember seeing it. Leave him behind. Leave him behind. There's more data lattice over here, so there at least there's that. Alright. Alright. Give me a minute here. Alright. Yeah, follow me this way. Follow me this way. Alright, I'm just gonna trust it. I'm gonna trust it. Yeah, this was... what? Then, I, then, you know what? At this point, I'm willing to give it a shot. So let's see what happens. I think that might have been the right bet, because I'm seeing the diamond. I'm seeing the white diamond right in front of me. Yep, alright. Good call. Good call, Good call, man. Yeah, I would... I would 
It, no, no, and you see, you see, that's the thing. Destiny is just that. Destiny is a lot of trial and error, and and um, I mean, you, you don't, yeah, you don't want to make it. You don't want to make it too hard for people. But then when you're, uh, yep, and there's the next, uh, there's the next hologram. But with that, with that, with that dramatic change in music. Alright. Throw it. Go ahead and throw yours and I'll, I'll take the guys in the middle. There's that. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> He's watching you. And now the second wave. Remember, grenades. Wait for him to get in here, and... But remember, you also have a heavy weapon. I have not seen you use your heavy weapon once. Oh, good. Oh, the the the, uh, the Minotaur. Yeah, I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Alright, hang on a minute. I just have to... Damn it. He's got it. He... Get up. There we go. That's one down. Nicely, nicely done. Still no sign of your crew, failsafe. We'll keep looking. Alright, forge I ahead. Appreciate your efforts, Captain. Friendly ghost. You with me? Just remember, cover is your friend. Oh, and with these hydras, the the floating hydras, their crit spots is is the um, is the um, is the white light. Now, when you see these um, and when you see these vex that are headless and they look like robot, they they look like robot uh, zombies. Those are the fanatics. They come at you. They come at you and they they explode on impact. Well, that was nice. Well done. Okay, now the Hydras. You want to find some cover for this one. Or if you got a super. Just with that, with that, with that, well, yeah, with that one Hydra, you got to get inside the shields. Otherwise, you're just, you're just, you're blowing smoke. All right. Got some data lattice back here if you want it. Very faint distress signal. Right, here we go. Ancient. So, and more biddies. Thank you, man. Okay, I'm gonna let you follow this. Okay, so I'm gonna let you go ahead and follow this. Just follow this. This is this is this is uh, this is pretty gut wrenching. You're you're going in the right direction. Actually, you you've overshot. You've overshot. You Got to come over here. Well, that's a different thing altogether. That'll tell you a different story altogether. But uh, go go uh, go back uh, go back this way. To the way I'm pointing. Just keep walking. Keep walking. There you go. There you go. There you go. Um, you found them. safe. You found them. The bodies are outside my sensor range, but I can detect them through your scan. <laughs> yes, friendly ghost. The memory of what happened to them will live forever in me. And so, in a way, they will never die. That's a good one, isn't it? That's a good one. I like that one a lot. All right, so um that uh but and, and thank you for the bits, uh Krabby. I do appreciate it, man. I do appreciate it. Yeah, I'm. We, uh, I've, I've, uh, I'm currently guiding my, uh, my, my buddy Steve the Blind Gamer through, through uh, Destiny Two. We're, uh, we're trying to level him up for, uh, for the, for the shenanigans on IO. So, um, pull up your character. Let me see your progress. I want to see how far you've made it. How, how close? Are, three quarters. I, I got enough time. 
Yeah, I've got uh, or 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 um, do this. Let me go. Let me take a look right here. One thing we haven't done. I don't think we've done one of these just yet. We have never done a lost sector, have we? Okay. Um, we've done a lot of public events. Let's go. Okay, so go to the artifacts edge. Fast travel to the artifacts edge. Uh, and we are in the 10 o'clock hour at Gaming with the Team Monster. How you doing, everybody? You can call me T, your Team Monster. Uh, tonight is the blind leading the blind. I am I'm playing alongside uh, Steve, the blind gamer sailor. And the two of us are working through Destiny uh, Destiny 2, the Red War. So let's take the uh, let's take the sparkly elevator down again. Um, and this has been a lot of fun for him. This has been a lot of fun for me. We're getting uh, we're, we're uh, I'm getting some practice in with my uh, with my Titan. He, he's just leveling up and uh, he's discovering all the fun stuff of uh, of Destiny. All right. So um, what we're going to do is we're I want to see if a if a um, I want to see if a if a um, a lost sector will push us over the edge. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to go... You're going to follow me. You're going to follow me. Alright. Don't mind anybody shooting at you. Don't mind them shooting at you. Alright. Let me just make sure... Let me just make sure that I'm heading in the right direction. Uh, and I am... Uh, ooh, I just okay. I've gone. I went right by it, so it's got to be back here. Well, what you saw pop up back there. Oh wait, yeah, there's no, no, actually, yeah, there's that's an adventure, but there's the lost sector symbol, right where all those, uh, right where all those vex are. So let's breeze through these vex. So the Lost Sectors, I like the Lost Sectors. They're a lot of fun. But the only thing that's kind of a bummer about the Lost Sector, and you're going to want to come up here because there's, there's a treasure, there's a loot chest up here. Ooh, and I just leveled up again. All right. Good man, good man. All right. So Lost Sectors. Here's the thing about the Lost Sectors. These are little bonus uh, combat missions you can go on. The thing about Lost Sectors is, is that they're they're you know all cavey and windy and bendy and very cool, but they're not necessarily lost because you can find them easily by pulling up the map. To me, I would have preferred it if they weren't on the map and you just stumbled across them. You saw the painted symbol and go, oh, there's a Lost Sector. So follow me. So follow me, and we're going to go into one of these Lost Sectors. <clears throat> And the mission behind the Lost Sector is basically you want to get to the final boss and just uh, and loot, you know. And sometimes, and sometimes in doing Lost Sectors will also uh, uh, help you out with uh, leveling up. Will help you with uh, high gear. I, I, I mean, I love do like I said, I love doing them. I love doing them. But that mission, by the way, that mission should have given you. Should have given you a uh, um, an upgrade point. So when we have when you have a minute, you uh, you should take a look and see what you can upgrade to. Now something else about lost sectors. I'd be the first one to say you want to get rid of the, uh, if, if you're doing vex lost sectors. You're gonna want you're gonna want to make sure that the snipers are out first, because man, those guys will pick you off like nobody's business. Something else about Lost Sectors too. You'll see boxes. They're explosive. So if you can, if you can, um, you can, if you can, yeah, like that. Oh, that didn't sound good. That didn't sound good at all. Um. Also, yeah. Also, don't forget this. You have a healing rift. When you start hearing the won't 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 won't, which sounds like a heartbeat. When you hear that, throw that rift. Throw that rift. Hmm. 
No, you can. But no, 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 not all of them. Now remember, crouch behind there. Crouch behind my wall. It should reload your weapons when you crouch behind my wall. Oh, and uh, point of uh, point of order. If you throw a healing rift behind my wall, that's a good thing. <laughs> All right, I'll get you up. Hold on. That's the other thing you're gonna learn about Destiny. There's a lot of moving parts to this game. A lot of moving parts. Hang on. The 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 lost sectors are gonna be a challenge, but we got this. Hey now. Hey now. Hey now. It's saying it's immune, really? Wow. Okay. Well then. Well then. Then I'm gonna go on ahead and see if I can't carry you. Let me see if I can carry you through this. That changes the strat. That's that changes the strategy. That changes the strategy quite quite intensely. All right, first off, I'm gonna do this. All right. Whoa. All right, that didn't sound good. There's the baddie. There's the guy. Ooh. That can happen sometimes. Ooh. Now, what you're going to have to do, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to play a little smarter. You're going to have to work on things like timing and like and location, like where are you and everything. Come on up here cuz I'm almost, I'm almost got I've almost got this. Now, did you just throw that grenade? Did I see you throw a grenade? Good man. Good man. All right. So here I go. Now, all right, find cover. Find cover. That's what you need to do now. Find cover. And remember your heavy weapon as well. Good man, thank you. Remember your heavy weapon as well. All right, let me see if I can see the boss. All right. Oh, the boss is up here. All right, so give me a second. Yeah, like I said, the boss is up here. I've almost got him. But the nice thing is that in this carry, I'll be able to. You'll be able to get some fine loot. I just have to I just have to not choke. There we go. Throw that in there. Remember, cover is your friend. Cover is your friend. Cover is your friend. <laughs> yeah, nah, this is gonna be a little different. Oh. This guy's on the ropes. He is on the ropes. Can I take him out with a bow and arrow? That'd be very cool if I could. Come on. 
Oh, oh, he's a bee's dick. All right. And he's down. And he's down. Come on. Come on. Now, we go up here and uh, open up your chest, if you please. Yeah! <laughs> welcome, welcome to your, welcome to the Lost Sectors. Now, did, did you level up? Damn! Oh shit, I could have swore we would have, we would have leveled you up. Alright, then you know what? <coughs> Let's see. Let me see. Good conversation. Unbreakable. Very nice. Very nice. Now, I, okay. I, I don't necessarily. I only know a few by name, but that one is, you know, it, it's blue. That means you're head. You're you're starting to get the higher weapons. What? What? Very nice. Okay. Oh man, you 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 are barely a mission away. All right. So let me just take a look here. Um, Cades were invitation from the emperor. Um. Deep conversation. You know what? I think it, what? Oh, what? What? Uh, what? What? What's the? Okay. Let's see what you got there. Oh yeah, very nice. See now, now, now all see now. See here, here's here's the advantages of doing of doing lost sectors. You get you get some nice gear, you get some nice little sweet gear, and uh, it's, yeah, it's good, good good times. Okay, so here's what we need to do: go to invitation from the emperor. That's going to be the next one we do. Invitation from the emperor. And again, Krabby, thank you very much for the bits. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it. Cistern's the closest one. Yeah, yeah. So going ahead and we'll fast travel there. So yeah, so if you ever find yourself underpowered for the next part, um, and if you want to do this before the next stream so that we can continue on the story mission, this is what you want to do. Now adventures, so, but here's the thing, keep in mind, the Lost Sector is going to be tougher for you because you're not doing any damage. Um, the, um, but the more adventures that you do, the easier it's going to be for you to, to, to level up and to, you know, um, and, and to get more stuff, and then you'll be ready for the next planet. Literally, like I said, I did all the adventures. When I did when I did D2, I would do all the adventures, and I would do all the lost sectors on my um, and before I would move on to the next planet. So I would be like at level 14, and it would say, yeah, you need to be level 11 for this. Um, right. Okay. Okay. Well, you'll yeah, you'll you'll find you'll find um, special ammo. All right, so 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 you'll notice there are there are three different colors of ammo. There's um, there's primary ammo, which is the the the, the simple the, the simple white white ammo, and that's uh, that's that's for any primary weapons. Then you have energy weapons. The energy weapons are are going to be powered by green ammo. They have a little more punch to them. You got your shotguns. You've got sniper rifles. Uh, some grenade launchers are considered energy weapons, and they are going to have. They're going to be the green bricks. Then you've got. Uh, then then you've got the, the 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 purple the purple bricks. The purple bricks are your um are your um is your is your power ammo or your heavy ammo. Those are for rocket launchers, most grenade launchers, swords, and things like that. All right. So have you um. Have you have you found uh, ha have you found your missions yet, or have you have you found our missions yet? Hey, there we sir. go. My scouts picked up a weird cabal signal coming from a ship that's definitely not Red Legion. Some new guy giving orders. He's got the Red Legion running around like errand boys on Nessus. Last time the cabal had a management shakeup, they burned down our house. Let's see what they're up to. Bring guns. Well, we always have at least three. All right. 
I see you. All right. All right. So before you start jumping around in that in that white stuff right there, you don't want to do that because that is vex milk and that will burn you. All right. So where are you? Right, there you are. All right. So the way to get around is to do this. We're going to go on ahead and we're going to uh, we're going to basically go go on a go on a, go on a walkabout. Now, one thing you can do is this. Play around with your jump mechanics, and instead of floating, you can actually figure out a way of propelling yourself until you can get, uh, un until you can get, uh... oh, I have no heavy ammo. Now, it, ooh, that, that's a high value target, and he just melted me. I don't think it's worth it. Let's not even worry about this guy. Let's just move forward. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I am supercharged, though. Did that do any damage? Nope, it didn't. <laughs> and he just melted me again. So the answer is no. The answer is no. Let's not worry about this dude. <laughs> no, I just, I just did. I just did, and I got into his shield. And it wasn't enough to, to, to melt him, so we're just going to keep moving. All right. Yeah, I know. Okay, so we go this way. Ooh. All right, this is we're gonna have to jump across. Ow! Ow! It's a little short. We're good. Whoa! That's oh, just rust. All right. Okay. Come on down to where I'm at. Oh, well, if you already jumped across, fantastic. FYI, another lost sector right around here. Yep, all right. Oh, son of a bitch, really? Oh. What? Oh, oh, what, what, what are you, uh, what are you using again? Oh yeah, yeah. The fusion rifles are gonna have a kick to them. All right, so straight ahead. Yeah, yeah. Now, the trade-off, though, the trade-off of these weapons. Yeah, yeah. The charge, the charge time is is like a small eternity in some situations. Now, when these guys with a shield, here's what you need to know about that. If you can land the shot right in the middle of their shield, their shield collapses. There we go. Okay. Now I'm good. I'm good. All right. You good? Yeah, that that can happen sometimes. Yep. Me. <laughs> All right. You're welcome. All right, here we go. You're doing great, by the way. Doing great. Doing great. All right. Ah, oh, no, this is fun. This is fun. It's been a good time. It's been a real good time. All right. Uh, let's see. We're still moving in. Still moving in. And this is the Well of the Flame. Um, I believe. Yep. 
We're going down. Yep. Just make sure you, you hit your jump button before you fall. Don't do as I did. You good? Alright, through the portal then. Through the portal. Still with me? Yep. All right. Here we go. Now remember that white stuff. You want to avoid it, like I did. All right. All right. Now. Oh, damn it. Man, it's short. Ooh! I just, that just did something. This thing is like a freaking sniper rifle. I love it. Don't sound like you need any help from me, brother. <laughs> it's not hiding, it's covered. There's a difference. There's a difference. Alright, ow. They're still... Hang on, where are they? There he is, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I hate those snipers. Those snipers are jerks. There we go. That's that's gonna melt them a bit. Well, there's your problem. Got a couple of snipers hanging out back here. Yeah, the 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 cabal snipers I think are the worst. They are just pains in my existence. I hate them. I hates them. We hates them. Oh, hey, dudes. Hey, dudes. Hey, dudes. Whoa, how about that? Take that with you. Oh. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Sad about it. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Actually, no, there's, there was a data construct. I think we got a... Oh. Yeah, damn it. A couple of firefighters, great. Let me just... Alright, let's try this again. Alright, so we download that. Okay, we got two more of these, uh, two, two more of these to download from. The Legion is pulling schematics of Nessus itself from the conflexes. Atmospheric, geologic, and tectonic data. They want it all. I'm not sure why. Oh, I'm grabbing the other one over here. Done. Okay, this might explain it. Let's three of three. See. Good job. The Legion is helping their unnamed leader identify mineral-rich deposits on Nessus for consumption. Well, that can't be right. Okay, I'm going to read this and you pretend like I understand. <laughs> the Cabal want to grind Nessus into glorious dust fit for royalty. It's more environmental data. Just some logistical planning so they can prime their ship to eat the planet. This new cabal leader might have a few screws loose. Okay, reach the landing site. Alright, let's get going. Yeah, you got this, man. You got this. You're good. Hang hanging tough. Alright. New objective, reach the landing site. For a second I thought that was Vex Milk. <laughs> and I was like, no, it's just it's just bright light on, on stone, so we're fine. Alright. And we're out. Huh. 
just nope. I'm outside. I'm doing a Robin. I'm doing a Robin Hood. Ah! There we go. Oh no, there's still plenty. Alright, we gotta head this way though. Uh, follow me. Going this way. Transmitting now. Cave, I'm picking up a planet-wide broadcast. Red Legion 7th Company has failed to secure Vex data. Their invitation to join the Loyalist regime is hereby rescinded. There's more. The rest of you still have a chance to prove yourselves. I offer you a life of... opulence. Opulence? Oh, I could go for some opulence right now. <laughs> All right, we gotta we gotta get we gotta get over there. So I'm trying to trying to think of the fastest way. Let's get going right this way. Now, one thing you need to you need to do, and I think I told you about this. You need to take a look at some videos from a guy called True calls himself True Vanguard. He's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Oh, wow. Just lead him a bit. Just lead him a bit. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's go forward. But what do you, what I'm what I'm what um what True Vanguard will be able to teach you to do until you get your sparrow is he'll be able to teach you how to do what's called whoa. Um, is basically something similar to what was called Titan skating in D1. And what happens is that you basically take your glide and instead of gliding up and just kind of lingering in the air, you you actually you actually get some momentum and you can uh, you can glide. You can glide like like skim across the across the, the, the canyon floor. And it's actually Well, that and that and that's the thing. Yeah, that yeah that it, it well really what it, what it's going to take is practice. It's going to take a lot of practice. Uh, all right. Press forward. You really are digging that fusion rifle, ain't you? <laughs> yeah. I can tell. Yeah, that's the only downside. That's the only downside of these, of these, of these, uh, these, 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 these weapons. And uh, you know, when you start going after even bigger weapons like the sleeper simulant and others, they just, they're, they're just amazing. All right, get to the confluxes. Okay, go this way. Oh, there are the confluxes. What? You good? Whoa! Hey now. Access the lower conflux. All right. I'll see if these uh, kind cabal will let me do that. There we go. I'm establishing a lane. Whoa. In. This gets weirder. They've analyzed the planetoid soil and what might happen if it's combined with something called 
royal nectar. One more cluster. Whoa. Hi, guys. Ow. Ow. That sounded... That sounded nasty. There you go. Yeah, go in and establish the link. I'll just I'll just keep these guys keep these guys busy. Great work. Both confluxes linked. Just keep them away while I read this recipe for converting Ness's soil into a purified royal wine. What are the cabal doing? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey now. I turn around, suddenly there's all these cabal. Whoa. Got it. Got it, coach. Yes, that blue ball is um is called is called an uh, arc um, is an arc light, and wherever you shoot, it will also shoot. And it, it, it's a it, whoa oh back off! It's the ship! It's the ship! I mean, really can't do any damage to the ship. I'm just spike shooting it right now. Is there a boss? Oh, whoa. Oh, nice shot. Lower conflux under threat. Defending the confluxes. Another another blueberry. That's nice. Right, but a blueberry. Uh, that that that's another word for rando. Another rando. Because I haven't invited anybody, and no one's messaged me. We're just they're just people just just uh, just coming in and helping out. All right. Lower conflux under under threat. So get the lower one. All right, we only got a few waves of this left. We're in 90, 98, 100. That's it. I think that's I it. I everything I could and shut down the conflux. Whew. The Red Legion won't get any of the data this new leader wanted them to secure. They're going to be so mad. I love it. <laughs> Serve them right. Let's get this to the Vanguard before I have to defrag. The Legion wanted every bite of data the Vex have on Nessus. All right, reach the beacon. So we're going this way. I think we're actually going the way we started. All right. Objective transmit the data. I'm trying to remember if I even ever I know I did this mission once before. Oh wow, I just saw the laptop pop All up. Ask it must it must have been a, a long Emperor time ago. Ew. <laughs> Emperor Callus has spoken. Oh wait, Emperor? As in Cabal Emperor? Okay, I feel later. Ikora now. Ikora! Uh, great job today, guys. Boy, he left in a hurry. I wonder what that was about. And that was your first. That would that would be your first taste uh, in the um, 
in the upcoming uh, in the upcoming uh, adventure, which was not adventure in the upcoming uh, raid that had yet to be released, which was uh, you basically go up to what is in Nessus orbit, something called the Leviathan, and that's where you you face off with the Emperor. And uh, it was it was it, it's a solid raid. It's a solid raid. It's very very mechanics heavy, but I I enjoyed it. I never I. I know some people who really got burned out on it, but I, I never did. I just I enjoyed it far too much. All right, so let's see a three a three seventy nine shotgun. No thanks. Let's see. Here. Wow, it requires level forty eight, but I got a five hundred power um, uh, Titan Mark, and I'm uh, I'm halfway to forty eight. So there's that. A four ninety nine helmet. Very nice. Very, very nice. Can I? Can I? Very nice. And uh, belt, belt or arm? You're a warlock, so it'd probably be an armband. Warlock bond. So it's, yeah. The 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 yeah. They get they got they got some funky names on there. Oh, but I don't have any enhancement cores. All right, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and swap that off for for blue. All right, nice work, nice work. I can actually. I know it is. I know it is. I, I'm, I've been keeping an eye on things. I've been keeping an eye on things. Now, um, here's the thing. I'm still good. I am still good. If you want... Why did I... That's weird. Oh, ah, that's why. Oh, did I not... I thought I upgraded that. Yeah, I didn't think I could do it anymore. Um... If you want, if you want to do the first adventure, the first adventure on uh, on uh, um, on IO, just get a taste of it. I'm game. I am more than game. Got it. Got it. So you're going to be the responsible adult and shut it down. Smart move. Smart move. No, smart move. Smart move, my friend. All right. Um, but you got to level eleven. So okay. So here's how it's going to break down. Uh, next Tuesday, uh, I get on a plane at five five p.m. and I'm I'm heading over to to to, uh, to Deutschland, so I'm not going to be here. And I will get back Monday night, Tuesday night. Um, I may have I think I've got something to do with my day job, so it's going to be a couple of it's going to be a couple of Tuesdays before we before we get back to this. So here's going to be my suggestion. Um, if you want to, if you want to be a little more, uh, a little more set, a little more OP for uh, for IO, do some more adventures on your own. Um, stay out of the lost sectors, though, unless you want to give yourself a challenge, because you can do. I think my, there might have been one of the reasons why the lost sectors may have been thrown off a bit. Could have been because of me, because my character is so much higher than yours. So I would suggest going back into one of the lost sectors. If 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 anything, you can go to the lost sectors on Earth. And uh, and see if there's uh, see if there's anything you want to get, uh, the, uh, and and just just give those a shot. I don't think I, I think you should be able to handle those. Um, can't think of anything else, but just uh, check with the postmaster. See if you've got uh, uh, see if you've got take. Uh, you might want to take us to orbit too. Um, but uh, uh, once you take us to orbit. Um, I'm going to go on ahead and leave the fire team, and then you can go on ahead and um, uh, go to the farm and check with the uh, postmasters, see if there's any extra weapons or things that uh, that 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 you want to uh, that 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 are waiting for you. Ooh, hey now, I just picked up a. Uh, oh, I just picked up a. Uh, um, was it another quest step? Really? Did I just pick up a quest step? I did. Board the World Eater vessel and defeat the the Leviathan raid. Grow fat from strength. And somehow I got Cade's Ace of, Ace of Spades for my. Um no 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 you um 
I am um, I'm talking about for you. For me, um, I'm just going to go on ahead and uh, I'm I'm, I'm going to actually before before you go anywhere, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on ahead and leave the fire team, and um, and then um, we'll figure out when uh, we'll, we'll probably figure, have to figure out when I get back. We'll figure out when's the, or, or rather before I leave, we'll figure out when's the best time when when we'll be able to get back to back, get back to this. We are going to get back to this, but for at least the next I think the next two uh, Tuesdays I'm out because uh, I'm celebrating my 50th birthday by going to Germany, and there will be there will be Twitch streams if I can if I can handle the bandwidth. I'll upload videos. I will bring you all into it, um, but. I'm gonna go on ahead and uh, cut off uh, cut off our chat. Um, as always, uh, this has been a pleasure, Steve. This was a lot of fun, man. This was a lot of fun. I it's it's fun. <laughs> all right. Well, then I will uh, I will uh, I will touch base with you, and we'll figure out when we're when we're doing this again. All right. But until then, take care of yourself. All right. Bye. What a crazy pants fun time that is. Um, let me go to the uh, let me go to the traveler and see what um, if I've got anything at the postmaster. So chat, I know that chances are I probably wasn't as uh, as as uh, connected with you all as I usually am, but a lot of that had to do with the fact that I'm my my main focus when I get on. Uh, when I get on with, uh, with with Steve, is to make sure that I haven't lost him, that I haven't uh, make sure that he's uh, he's all good and that he's uh, he's set and set and ready for what we're doing. Um, but this is uh, this is blind uh, this is uh, blind leading the blind, and uh, this has been a lot of fun. This has been a lot of fun to do. So the plan is, uh, and I don't know how many how many Tuesdays it's going to take, but the plan is that we're going to take Steve. Uh, through all the different incarnations, uh, we're going to take him through the Red War. We're going to take him through Curse of Osiris. We're going to take him through War Mine, and we will eventually get him through uh, to Forsaken. I'm going to give a heads up. I think that for when we do War Mind, um, I'm, I may go back to the Hunter as, as opposed to the Titan, and uh, and bring my Hunter in because my Hunter still hasn't finished War Mind, and I I I feel like I have been neglecting my Hunter sadly throughout this entire experience um even my my titan started forsaken hasn't finished it uh i may actually uh finish forsaken on some special streams uh now that the now that um twitch for dummies is done my goal is to uh my goal my plan is to just take a break i'm, I'm just going to take a take, take a full week to decompress to uh just get my wits back um and then once the week once the week is done, I'm, I'm going to be on the plane to Germany, and I'm going to have another. I mean, I guess you could call it an extended week, where I go into, um, where I go and I, um, I, I, I take care of stuff. Uh, I take care of stuff with my uh, with with uh, um, uh, for myself, and then when I get back, get back from Germany, that's when I start writing in earnest. And I start doing some serious power writing. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff here. Um. So let's see, 380. Let me just double check. Let me just see what I got here. So 499 helm, 490, 479, 486, 467. Looks like I'm doing okay, so I can uh, get rid of that. 421. Ooh. 429 helmet. What about my weapons? 483, yeah, the 483 foregone conclusion. Amos Midnight. I'm hanging on to that one. <laughs> there are better devils. A scathe. Oh, the scathe lock. Um. So I do have a 459 and a 405. Okay. So a 459 sidearm wouldn't be too bad to have. And at, at Atlantia 454 wouldn't be bad either. Acknowledged. Yeah. It's a sidearm. I've been having mixed mixed reactions to sidearms chat. Real mixed re reactions to it. 
hard case stoppers. Oh, I just picked up a bounty or something there. Uh, submachine gun out of space. It's 377 with 378. 378. 42 helmet. 499 helmet, yeah. That's what I thought. 487. So things are dropping pretty pretty sweet okay. for me. Uh, I know, but um I'm probably because I'm because I'm helping him out, I'm probably not getting anything in the way of engrams or anything. Which is fine. Which is fine. This has been Doing this has just been an absolute joy. <laughs> it really has been. It's been a lot of fun just 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 hanging with him, just hanging with Steve, and uh, and enjoy and enjoying the the, the the utter silliness of of what we're doing. Um. Okay, then you know what? I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end stream here. Let's see. Uh, let's see who's on, shall we? Um. Good times, everybody. Good times. Hope you've had a good time uh, with me as well, chat. I mean, that's that's part of that's part of why I do this, right? You know, I do this to, I do this so that uh, we can all have a good time, right? And we can all just relax and just, you know, kick back and have some fun. Um, so, so let's see here. Um, who is on? Oh, Marilyn Mavericks on. Damn what the hell is on? Oh, damn, oh, some people are. Oh, they're playing. Oh, Fallout. That's why. I, so I was wondering. I was wondering why Brandon uh, Thermal Wolf hadn't joined us tonight. It's because Fallout seventy six is, uh, and and his heart his heart belongs to Fallout. His heart belongs to Fallout. So um, I think instead I'm just gonna let uh, I'm just gonna let Auto Host do its thing, um, and uh, just just thank everybody. Uh, just thank you all for the tips and the bits and the subs and the host and the Auto Host. Um, for uh, just hanging out with me and just making uh, what I do here a lot of fun. So Twitch for Dummies is off, and now I just have to wait for um, I have to wait for uh, for some people to get back to me about a forward. Uh, I need to sit back and wait and see when the PDF arrives. If the P uh, not if when the PDF arrives, how does everything look? Does everything look good? Um, I'm sure it will. I'm not I'm not worried about it in the least. Um, I'm 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 relieved. I'm breathing a sigh of relief. Uh, things are going to be a little, a little more chill for me when I get home. I don't have to stress out. Uh, and for the next uh, for the next two weeks, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna coast for a bit. I, th I think I've earned it. I definitely think I've earned it. Anyway, everybody, thank you very much for joining me tonight. I will uh, be seeing you all bright and early Saturday morning, 5 a.m. Unless uh, the the, uh, the the spirit the spirit moves me and I jump onto Destiny and say, "Hey, let's get this warlock uh, up and running and do some do some uh, do some silliness here," um, because I know that the Festival of the Lost is probably going to be done by the time I get back from uh, from from Germany, and uh, I want to try to get as much done there as I possibly can. This has been an absolute delight, but I will see you all bright and early Saturday morning, 5 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, for more Destiny Kitage, little Brett Kitage, and uh, you know, aim that can probably improve if you know if if if, if I keep practicing. <laughs> it's been a fun Titan Tuesday. Uh, you've been watching Blind Leading the Blind episode three. Uh, episode four will be in a few weeks, uh, but until then. Keep an eye on the stream uh, for different stuff. I'll see you all on Saturday. Until next time, thanks, everybody. Peace.